Live, folks. I'm live and alive, and I hope all the boys, girls, MPs are having a fantastic one. We have a very special, incredible, jam-packed live stream for you today. And you're not even ready. Buckle up. Strap on. Not ready. Not ready. Go That's right. Him. I have very, I have very special guests on the broadcast today. I hope that uh, the audio issues will not continue. But that's right. Um, that we're we're here. We're live. Yeah, I normally do this introduction by myself, but you know, since you guys are here already and we already just shot an a, a, a podcast together, you know, this was uh, really fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, and uh, you know, get excited for that. Fear and it's going to be coming out uh, tomorrow, hopefully. That's why I'm late, folks. That's why I'm late. Um, a little bit late, yeah. I'm usually late like 30 minutes. <laughs> I'll be to fired. be honest, I'm always late, but I hate being late. I you hate being late, but you're always late, that's what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, this better be a massive shift stream. No, it's not going to be a massive shift stream. Um, we are... I. So one of the problems immediately that I run into when I do streams like this is that you no, know, Will is not here, unfortunately. Will had to leave. But one of the problems that I immediately run into uh, when I do stuff like this, when I have guests on, is that I am uh, not a super... Like, we, we just shot the podcast in the same space, yeah. but, like, we had to appropriate it to, a, to be a, a podcast studio. So... Then, then there'll be radio podcasts. What the podcast will be out tomorrow. Tomorrow, wow, yeah. cool. Yeah, for those of you who really don't great. know, for those of you who don't know, uh, I am joined today by Ava Elfie and Nadia from Pussy Riot, um, and uh, we have some we have a very special guest today. Uh, Mike's might be a little bit quiet. You guys have to be a little you have, you have to be a little louder uh, mm -hmm. than than the way that we did the podcast. So that's all I'm gonna no say. No ASMR speak. anymore. Yeah, no, no more ASMR. <laughs> but you can get the ASMR on the podcast side if you would like that. Lex Friedman always says that um, you should talk as quiet as possible and as close as possible in the mic, oh and gosh. everyone's gonna be, oh, he's so sexy. <laughs> I d oh my god. Oh I my gosh. yeah. I, Lex and listen Friedman. to Joe Rogan. <laughs> Lex Friedman and be, okay. and be friends with Joe Rogan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I, I yeah, that, that's n rule number one of podcasting is befriend Joe Rogan, I think, which, you know, we'll be we'll be watching some Joe Rogan. Obviously, every time I have cute girls on here, it's a it's a tradition to show you guys Joe Rogan. But I mean, this is basically uh, the part of the broadcast where I tell everybody about my personal news about what's going on in my life before I blast off and like inform the world that we're here. We're live um, and, and uh, do a Twitter thread on it. Normally, I just do this on my own, but. Um, you know, but since you guys are here already, I decided let's, uh, you know, let's get right into it together. <laughs> what is this? Oh, oh shit. Cute. This is, this is nice. <laughs> yeah. Is it Pornhub, Cody? Or? Yeah, Pornhub. I wanted to talk with you about Pornhub and maybe we can get into that later because I was, I was thinking to release a music video on Pornhub, but a yep, lot of people yep, were yep, like, yep, yep, it's good. Like, I've been criticized really badly for considering Pornhub because they were just like, no, they're connected with sex trafficking and stuff. What so yes, the fuck? You just came in hot with that. Holy shit. Yeah, we can come back to it later. That's <laughs> chill. Okay, goddamn. Um, can I try this one? What? Oh, you want to put it on? Here you yeah. go. Um, <laughs> yeah. This is this is the part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news, but like, there isn't really much happening in my life uh, other than the fact that uh, other than the fact that uh, earlier today, you know, I, I went to sleep last night, had some rotisserie chicken again, and then earlier in um, earlier in the day, we shot uh, a, a episode, the second episode of Fear Ann, which will be hitting all the RSS feeds wherever you can get your podcasts, and also on uh, and also on YouTube as well at Fear And. That's pretty much it. That's all I've done. You know, normally I <clears throat> on Sundays normally I like to work out. There is no VOD. Again, did they fucking... Oh, God. Did they stop my VOD from being published? I just... I hate it when Twitch does shit like this. But it's okay. I'll, I'll just publish it afterwards. It's very, very frustrating. But Twitch will randomly decide to mm. not publish my VODs or something. But... Uh, and then 
the worst part about it usually is that just like people will come in all day and be incredibly annoying about it. Wait, where is it? If only I knew what VOD is. A VOD is video on demand. Hold on, I'm trying to figure it out right now. I like OBS. Is my no? It says it's broadcasting. Broadcast. You see it? The VOD is there. Oh no! Someone is just being a fucking bitch. Okay. I thought Twitch changes so they auto publish. No, they do. Someone was just fucking lying. This it, is, you know, what do you got to deal with? Hella people just fucking sit there and lie. Okay. <laughs> what do you, you? I can't believe you would do that. You would just go on the internet and lie like that. Yeah. I thought that that is unacceptable, but turns out it's not. Okay. Um. Anyway, but yeah, nothing really, nothing really crazy or important has happened in my life. I don't know about you guys. What about uh, has has anything happened yesterday, today? What have you What have you guys been doing? What have you been up to? Mm. <laughs> well, I woke up this morning and um, started to make my um, art pieces, and I always feel awkward about it because um, I never done physical art in my life before. Uh, it's like uh, quite literally the first time I'm, I'm trying to I'm attempting to do it and I feel I feel weird um, but um, so I had like this mixed feelings uh, but also I've been doing a lot of DIY clothes before especially oh. during the pandemic so I kind of approach it in the same way um, and I've been watching a movie about conceptual art which is great but um, Manzani do you know his art piece uh, artist shit when he put um, um, his shit in, uh, in a can mm. and what yeah, and it's like was okay, that sounds fucking insane. It Wait. was recently sold on uh, on Christie's for like over, actual shit. Yeah, actual shit. It was actual like seventies or eighties, um, <laughs> and yeah, it was sold for over one hundred k on Christie's. Sorry, I'm just like I'm just the. You keep going. You keep explaining your stuff. I'm just gonna okay. Do a little. They tweeting. had the usual morning. I wake up and had a breakfast, and after I go to you and we. Make a podcast, and now we are streaming here. I'm so happy to see you guys here. I'm super happy to be here. Um, yeah. yeah, we were hanging with uh, Eva the other day. Um, that was really nice to catch up on things. I mean, just like Siberian shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote to my oh. friend uh, Sasha Safif. Uh, who is friends with them, and he was just like, yeah, this is amazing. I fucking love them. I always wanted you to work with them. Uh, so it's we studied uh, together in one school, and uh, he, he's my ex-boyfriend. Yeah. How long have you been together? Not too long, like maybe, I don't know, three months, four months. Привет, Igor. Привет. Привет, Igor. <laughs> yeah. Um, did I, do, I don't think I did a good job framing this at all. God damn it. Every time I have... Hassan, what the fuck did you do? Every time I have guests over... Uh, well, the main reason why this is like fucked up right now is because we had to use the swivel cam that I normally have for guests. Or... Wait, let me see. Maybe this is better. No, that doesn't... No. That is not better. <laughs> it yeah, it's not better at all. Uh, Nothing ev- like that. <laughs> yeah, every time I use the swivel cam... Uh, yeah, no, it's much better, much much better that way. Um, every time I every time I use the swivel cam, it's like really hard to fucking recover it, unfortunately. So, you can't be using the camera from above. Always looks weird, bro. Hmm. Yeah, well, I know everyone. Every time I also talk, one of the best parts about Twitch streaming is when you are the professional broadcaster. You have, you know, right now we just started twenty thousand yeah. people who uh, wow. will give you tips uh, without. Without you asking, you know what I mean? They're like, oh, no, I this you know, I know you've been doing this professionally, but uh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you how. <laughs> honest, like the, people, are, honest, people are trying yeah. to figure out who the fuck Nadia is. They're like, oh, <laughs> this is Nadia from Pussy Ride. Hey, so cute. To be <laughs> honest, today is my first uh, stream on Twitch in English. And oh, my gosh, I'm a little bit nervous again. <laughs> You're <laughs> doing <okay>. great. <laughs> okay, we will try. Why not? I had yeah. experience in Russia only with some popular guys from Twitch and uh, 
We played some games and uh, talking about something, I don't know. What did you talk about? Uh, about uh, adult industry. I don't know. Is it possible to say here? Yeah. Yeah, porn is okay. No, we, we talk, we, we, I have had sex uh, movies on before. Yeah, yeah. Adult yeah. movie, uh, <laughs> like games and some news. It literally got oh. worse. Okay. okay. Oh, sorry. No, you keep talking. <laughs> okay. I'm traveling a lot and I'm so happy that I'm staying here in LA for a few months and uh, I wanna, you know, like feel in a home here because I'm tired, I'm traveling three years and uh, yeah. I, I was in Bali four months, it's su such a long time and yeah, I wanna stay here. <laughs> Keep her about we'll, we'll, huh? we'll keep you here. Yeah, like. we want you here. <laughs> I'm glad you ended up here. How long are you living here? I cannot talk about it because I'm te uh, technically geographically anonymous, yeah. but people like Loki know where I'm at, but yeah, also I'm not saying yeah. things out loud. Okay. Trying to be like, oh, I'm somewhere in the planet. Yeah. <laughs> um, Bali is my hometown. My too, yeah. <laughs> I've never been there. I really want to go. Well, another good thing is that now we have a little big here. Mm -hmm. And we are, um, later in the day, we are going to go meet them do you guys know little big if you know little big <laughs> write yeah, comments because do you know little big little big little big little big do you want to do you want to show to people because what if, is if, that um is one is we can popular. start from my is dick is big like my right little big oh this my dick is very big yeah, yeah. little big is a russian ray band oh yeah. shit this it's is amazing sick. they're here no, this is literally what we were going to talk about anyway watch, I, I was going to ask you guys about Skibidi. techno Wait, hold on. Let me just blast off real quick, okay? All right, uh, boys, girls, we're starting. All right. Um, uh, uh, do you have a Twitter? Yep, sure. What is your Twitter? Not safe for work. To Eva Elfie. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that it? No, it doesn't scroll down. I might have to write it. Is that the right yep, username? Yep. yep. Okay, it's 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 not showing up because the NSFW, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's yours? I is yours is just uh, a pussy red, yeah. Okay. Pussy, R R R. You can see my page because it's not safe for work. Yeah. Yep. Okay. No guys. Yeah, um, video, um, my dick is big by little big, does not sound like safe for work, but it actually is, it is safe, small. so we can watch it. Well, I'll, I'll look it up in a second, hold on. Does uh. it matter? What? Eva Elfie is small. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Wait, let me, let me just see, let I'm me sure. see if that's the right one. I really like this hat. I, oh, uh, here it is, this is yeah. it. I was forced to wear these hats when I was. Um, oh yeah, I can't. Up. I can't show this obviously on <laughs> yes. stream. Holy shit! That's a penis inside of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> okay. Love it. That's a penis inside. Of you. What did you expect there? Yeah. <laughs> Lollipops. <laughs> I like here. Evil laughter. <laughs> Okay, there it is, chat. I'm live and have Eva Elfie and Pussy Riot here to talk about Russian memes, sex work, and more. It's Sunday fun day, twitch.tv slash house on Avi. All right, go juice this. Gonna need a link, my dude? No, I mean, here's the link. <laughs> I'll follow you as well, but I'll mute you real quick. You don't post NSFW on yours, do you? Nope. No? Yeah. I have to do this because, like, otherwise, if I don't mute uh, on, on stream, like, I'll pull up Twitter. And sometimes, like, you know, my friends that do this uh, sort of thing on Twitter, they just have their fucking NSFW posts up. And I'm like, <laughs> I click on it and I'm like, oh, God. And, you know, I get scared. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, hold up, hold up. What are we going to do here? All right. Here's the little dick, my big dick vid. That's <laughs> age restricted, though. Oh, oh, I can't yeah. show this. You can, you can, you can. Okay. No, it's no, it's censored, but it's like, no, I can't for show Twitch, this. For no way. No, I can't do okay, yeah. this on Twitch. Oh. It's yeah, a it's mouse. Like okay, well, let's go, let's go watch Skibidi. 
and oh. then we can watch part of their latest video which Nadia, is your understanding not, not of what is your video. understanding of what is a, appropriate for twitch is so out of whack yeah. <laughs> with what is actually appropriate for twitch i could I'm not GP, show not this video at all it's age restricted on fucking youtube <laughs> <laughs> guys look i'm drinking a tea this so amazing cup. <laughs> <laughs> I it's gave him all. Up. I gave him all USSR shit. <laughs> mm. Anyway, my little big Uno is the best. Okay, okay let's go see Skibidi. Hold on. Before we do that, let me just uh, let me just blast off real quick. We got the. <laughs> Hassan is scared of my suggestions now. <laughs> um. Here you go, boys. In the chat, juice this. Okay, juice it. Juice it up. There it is. Okay. Scared of getting banned? Yeah, no, that's what it is. I'm just, I'm just afraid of uh, <laughs> Twitch. Has like, <laughs> Twitch is really restrictive, unfortunately, on a lot of stuff, and it's really fucked up. Oh, should dude. we start? Should we actually start from just like uh, explaining rules of like, what's appropriate in Twitch and what's not? No nipple, uh, no Oriola, no areola, Oriola, however you fucking say it. Uh -huh. Um, and sometimes like uh, contextually, they'll say like contextually it's fine, but it's still like they'll claim it's inappropriate. Like, I got fucking banned for saying the C word for white people. Oh, I'm glad I didn't wear this shirt because this is one of my favorite merch items. Is that? Mm. What is it? I'm not going to tell you. It's like exactly the word that you were banned for. Yeah, I said. You, you sure? Is that? No, it's because I was telling on bold um, the slow C word. You cracker is the word but i called someone that and they like were like med medical words like vulva it's not no, no 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 that's totally fine you okay, can say pussy dick yeah. whatever no 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 you can this say nice. cunt no i wasn't even talking about cunt if that's what you're thinking okay. yeah. no okay. i said cracker okay oh. like i called a white person that and i got banned for it obviously contextually it's appropriate for me to describe why i got banned but like mm. i just can't do it mm. um and this is a word for this is like a like an anti-white word which is ridiculous <laughs> to even get mad at but you know some people still find a way to do it you said it again <laughs> uh, well, i'm just i'm just explaining it you know this time it's all right um okay what but, else like we can talk about everything that we talked on the podcast yeah. like you know like yeah we can talk about everything like yeah dick sizes everything. yeah we can talk about Coming all of that face. but it's all but it's already on the podcast so we're not even going to cover that if you want to okay. watch it if you want to if you want to hear about their preferences preferential penis sizes and whatnot mm -hmm. you're gonna have to check out the podcast if you know what i'm saying yeah. Um, we can do this too. Look, this is what. Come click this link for more uh, detail on pussy. I'm so horny. Come click this link for more uh, detail on pussy. I'm so horny. Come click this. This is. I this fucking is from, love this. This is from yesterday. I was giving advice. We did a. This we did is a so advice real. <laughs> we did an advice segment uh, yesterday, which you were a part of over the phone when I called you. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was just like, I don't know. I was just making a joke about. Did this, it help? What? Did it help? I think so. I think you were very helpful. There was this girl that is like in love with a Russian dude who's uh, kind of stuck in Russia and he wants to get out and like not join, not serve yeah. in the military. But she never met him in real life. They yeah. They just texted. Yeah. They've only, they've only uh, talked to one another over, uh, over the internet. Cheers, guys. I'm Cheers. Cheers. There you go. Every time Nadia's here, she likes uh, drinking and then making a mess. So we'll see. We'll see what happens this time. I don't. It's a different oh, yeah. combination. It's not yeah. me and Grimes anymore. Yeah, it's not. I think we're well behaved. We'll see. I, I doubt it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, well, it wasn't my suggestion. We started to talk about drinking. And then yeah. Eva was like, okay, I'll drink if you drink. I was like, well, I, 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 I'm not going to cock block. <laughs> I like wine. It's very tasty. I love yeah. wine. I fucking love wine. Yeah, before on, on, on a podcast, we talked about Pepsi, and you guys said yeah. you love Pepsi, and it was like, I prefer drinking red wine. I yeah. can say that uh, I love Pepsi or Coke. I prefer water, tea, wine sometimes. Mm. Yeah. And I can drink uh, gin, vodka. <laughs> vodka. Vodka is like fine. Vodka? I like vodka. I, I'm, I'm more of a whiskey fan myself, uh, though. I like whiskey. I, I, I hate I, whiskey. Yeah. That's definitely my preference. Wait, let's like shift around a little bit. Maybe go like a little bit further back. I don't know. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure this out right now because uh, I gotta like be able to sit here. Okay. Ooh. Me, I'm doing that. That's fancy. That's my that's my fucking moving desk. Unfortunately. I really miss having a dog in the studio. Okay. Yeah. No. I know. I tried. 
I tried to keep uh, uh, Fiona here, but my brother was like, no. Mm. Um, he, he was being selfish. And he was like, no, you don't get to hang out with Fiona all weekend. Mm, I love which I've dogs. been doing. I want to touch dogs every time. Yeah. It's my dream to have a dog, but I can't because I'm always traveling and it's big stress for animals, you know. Yeah. 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 No, I, I, I understand. I'm having my first um, animal um, ever. Um, I got a kitten seven months ago. It's a black kitten. His name is Volk. Volk I can Chuck. see you being a cat person. Mm-hmm, you yeah. like cats more than dogs? Yeah. yeah. I, I knew it. You just you strike me as a cat person. Oh. You have very you have cat like qualities, personally. I am um, like what? I don't know. You're like you you got a how do I describe this? You have like a you have a kind side, but also like like, like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do, yeah, for sure. do you prefer more cats or dogs? Um, I prefer cats because okay, my cat bites yeah. me hard. I yeah, so this is what I mean. Oh, okay. You black cats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like I feel like cats literally. Uh, well, you like knocking things over and making a mess too. So just like a cat. But I feel like cats in in general are are like an abusive roommate to have. Mm. Like your cat will fuck you like up. It. And Cat, you know, very lazy, and uh, if you come to home, dogs very happy to meet you. But cat is okay. You're at home, and not all of them. My cat just rushes to meet me, and he jumps on me. Oh, um, he's he's so incredibly nice. dog-like, but also like, he likes to bite. But also he's a he's a kitten, so that's I'm my really that's my favorite thing. Kind of that's my favorite thing that cat people say, where they're like, "Oh, my cat's different. My cat's like a dog." <laughs> okay, just get a dog then. You know what I mean? Like that's how I feel about it. Mm, but I do not want to have a dog. Um, yeah. I, I like when other people have dogs and um, I like to come over and see a dog, but I wouldn't want to have a dog. I actually did want to have a dog. <laughs> what am I, fuck am I talking about? When I was a kid, I wanted to have a dog. But then my mom said, no. No. I, I, had the, oh. I have the same. I had the same experience. So I always wanted a dog. I would like literally bring in, bring home strays when my parents weren't around. Um, when they would go on like vacations and stuff and then they would force me to release the stray back into the wild it was really fucking traumatic uh yeah. when they came back and my dad apparently i found out lied to me my entire childhood about allergy about having an allergy yeah. because when i finally became an adult and started <laughs> living on my move. own yeah. yeah when i became an adult started living on my own i went and i got fish uh my mm. dog my my pit bull and my dad, when he visited me, he's like, you know, kissing this fucking dog. Oh, he's like, yeah. fish is like a little puppy. And he's like, you know, laying on his chest. So I'm like, dad, don't you have allergies? He's like, no. Mm. He's like, yeah, you weren't yeah. going to take care of it as a child. So we just lied to you. But oh, if no. you put uh, pills, it's okay. No? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Fucking Benadryl. <laughs> Get some yeah. Benadryl. God damn it. Um, okay. So you guys are going to meet up with the Russian rave band, little big, uh, I'm going to play Uno, which was, uh, from the Eurovision contest. Mm. Um, which is this the last time they were allowed? Is the last time that Russia was allowed in Eurovision? Cause they weren't allowed in Eurovision this year, right? Or were they? Definitely not this year. Yeah. Maybe previous year. Yeah. 2021. I don't think why not. Anyway. Okay. Well, we are fans of little big. I was just, um, watching their success and fucking love them. So a lot. The, we have fun. Like, we we were not um we weren't supposed uh, to reveal our friendship or com- comradeship before, but then they got in trouble for um talking about the war um for you know basically saying that Putin is an insane person, and, um a terrorist and war criminal. So after they said say that they were banned from Russia, they had to run away. So after I mean now I'm allowed to say that I'm their friend, and before they would so. It's so bad to be pussy right in Russia. You would th- literally get in trouble for just being publicly my friend. That's crazy. Not ideal. Well, this is their this is their song. This is one of their songs that I can probably show. I mean, I'm gonna get DMCA probably, but you know, whatever. Fuck it. Guys, those are some fucking sick tattoos. Holy yeah. shit. It was a really great one. He's back. I saw TikTok when uh, he made a TikTok video and uh, make up artists to, how to say in English, put uh, on the like uh, fake skin. Like they, mm-hmm. he doesn't have a tattoo. It's very difficult for work, like making 
I mean, he was faking. Uh, so makeup artist was uh, putting fake tattoos on his body. Not fake tattoo. Like you don't have tattoo. Oh, okay. So yeah. he was masking, yeah, masking, masking tattoo. the tattoos. Yeah. And Face did the same thing. Remember when ah. Face was like, I just removed all of my tattoos from. Like we have a Russian little pump, mm-hmm. and <laughs> um, he what's his name? Face. face. How do you spell it? Face. face, like face, like face. Yeah. Face Russian rapper, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So at some point he was just like, oh, I just removed all of my tattoos and he appeared in a music video without them. And then he was like, well. Wait, they, Putin labeled him a foreign agent? Yo, what's up exactly, with... Exactly, exactly. They're insane. Okay, what's up with fucking Vladimir Putin constantly like taking all... Like taking anybody who's like fucking chill and a good artist and like turning them into public enemy number one. Like, I don't understand. Isn't that kind of like cucking your own uh, industry? You know what I mean? When do you think uh, you, Eva, is going to become a foreign agent? Oh, Eva? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. no, no. <laughs> For yeah. just hanging here on this stream, I mean... <laughs> Maybe, yeah. It's, it's possible. Yeah. No, I we love we so. love Putin. We're big fans. Please we don't love, yeah, please Vlad. don't ban please don't pan, ban anybody here on uh, on this broadcast of Vladimir Putin. I am for a nation as well. Yeah, he listened he listened to me originally, you know, when I said like don't don't invade Ukraine and then he held back, but then he did end up doing it anyway, which is fucked up. I tried my best though. <laughs> Certainly. Um Ice Peak, yeah. Oh no, I love Ice Peak. Ice Peak, yeah, is good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's what their song they that, had to leave russia as well they had to leave russia too what the mm-hmm. fuck okay i want to yeah. see this guy i want to see like this is one of his Berlin songs Berlin? Berlin, yeah. this, this is, is hilarious this is like one of my favorite songs and you need to get a translation of this one because he's saying so basically i i, I fucked uh, are, the wife of old. uh donald trump very old. oh no it is old it I is old like is it be- it's before he turned political he became a big activist. Does he stay in Russia? No? no, he doesn't live in Russia anymore. I mean, like, now we. Wait, he... this is sick. This is a... But wait, like, it's not the original music video. Oh, wait, it is. It is. It is. It's stupid. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> son is loving it. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, I fucking vibes. loved it. How have I never heard of this motherfucker before? This is crazy. This is two million. This is exactly within my realm of content. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. he's like, what is he dropping <laughs> bombs on America? <laughs> 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 I, I love that you said this is before he went political. <laughs> like this is, is not political, is. of no, course. This is not. This is a light yeah. content. <laughs> <laughs> I say fucked Obama's wife. Yeah. And Trump's daughter sucked my dick. USA are knocked out. You sucked my dick if you touched her lips. More music. I don't know exactly what the lyrics are. Yeah, he's a yeah, he's a foreign agent. He's in trouble as well. He's in I bet he wasn't a foreign agent when he dropped this one. Putin was like. And no, in Russia. Ah, in yeah. Russia, yeah. So he yeah. dropped this originally, and Putin was like, yo, this is good. The Davai. The <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was like, this is very good, artist. And then... Came right in her face. And then he fucking... Yeah, and then he turned it on Putin, and he was like, not good. Niet. <laughs> Niet. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, my God. He's got... <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? <laughs> this is so <laughs> dumb, dude. Look at this. <laughs> The Russian flag. The they Russian put a Russian flag, flag on yeah. the White House. Oh, I love this. Yeah, this where, where's he's this perfect. dude at now? Um, I'm, he's he's out of Russia. Um, I knew. I mean, he think he was hanging in Israel for a second. 
and I know he was hanging there with my uh, ex-husband Peter. They really tight. Um, Someone said he's in Greece right now. Okay, mm -hmm. that's that's fair. Um, I would be in Greece as well. So then after this, he turned political. After this. After this, he turned. This really is of political. course not political. So you know, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um and. But this is really significant. So, like, literally imagine if little Trump, like, all of a sudden became... He did do. Little Trump Little Trump did get political. <laughs> you want to see? Little Trump. Yeah. Or little Trump, I mean, basically. Okay, watch this. And speaking of sound music and other things, one of the big superstars of the world, Little Pimp. Little Pimp. It's, his name is Little Pump, but, this you know. This is cute. This is cute. He's so dumb. Trump is incredible. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> How is it going? Do you want to come up and say something? Do you want to? Come on. A little pump. None of these motherfuckers know who the little hell Lil pump. pump is either. They're like, yeah, yeah, get up there. Come on. Come little on up pimp. here. Come on up here. Does everyone know who he is? Uh, do you know how big he is? Yeah, come on up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, does anyone know who he is? It's a nice that. hat. Come on, say they something. They do not sound like they know who he is. Hello, everybody. How are you, you guys feeling? What the fuck is happening here? <clears throat> I come here to say, Mr. President, I appreciate everything you've done for our country. <laughs> what you brought the, the troops fuck? home, and you're doing the right thing. MAGA 2020. Don't forget that. MAGA 2020, which I is, of course... I just fucking threw up in my mouth. That doesn't even make sense. Like, he just doesn't even... He fucked it up. <laughs> Don't forget that. And do not vote for Sleepy Joe at all. Fuck that shit. Well, so I, I mean, like the difference between Face and Lil Pump, the Face is actually really intelligent. Yeah, I mean, I, I like this. The the whole like <laughs> I dro I dropped the West. Then he recorded the whole album where he was talking about you know he was like talking about police violence and he was talking about um, government and their corruption and they they send kids in prison for nothing, and that was amazing. They turned a lot of um, a lot of young Russians political, and I speak made a really good job with that as well. So. <laughs> I mean, in the way there are foreign agents, okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, really my my introduction to, like, you know, three Russian music comes from... Oh, fucking three leave for this shit? I love it. You yeah, know, we want to make a party that's shit. called FSB, what? and we want to play this. I used to play this... Was a child. Yeah, I used to play this on my stream all the time. Like we we used to do hard style all the time. Kopiat is another one, obviously. <laughs> See, the, Russia and America not so different. You know, this is some yeah. American shit right here. He's got a gun in his hand. He's doing the dumbest thing you could possibly do. <laughs> no. Do I want to visit Russia? Yeah. yeah, I would love to visit Russia. What cities? Well, good luck after this stream. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, it's hard house, not hard style. Shut up. Their dance how style you, is hard style. How do you know Russia? I mean, like, how do you how did you pick Russian? Well, yeah, I'm Turkish, so like we, so we are connected as people. You know what I mean? Because like Russian girls always come. That's what I was gonna talk about on the on the podcast mm -hmm. too, but I forgot mm -hmm. to. So Russian Russian people always come to Turkey. For a vacation, like Antalya, yeah. Alanya. I'm sure you guys have been to Turkey, I was right? in yeah, Alanya. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Alanya, exactly. So, um, is nice. So, like, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, Turkish people, that's why I know, like, you know, Davai, Davai, Kogdila, Kogdila, Bezavu. Natasha. Yeah, always, exactly. And and that's where that, like, uh, that's where that uh, 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 cultural exchange comes from, usually. Um, but that's that's what I know about uh, uh, Russia. You what chat, uh, you should to listen Morgenstern. Yeah, that's what, what our audience wants, and me too, by the way. Wait, I, what is it? I love his Morgenstern stuff. is a very popular artist. There are in Morgenstern. I don't know how the fuck to write that. How, how ah, I saw today he posted on Instagram. They, um, sorry, he will be in USA in December, and uh, he has a tour. Okay, that's dope. Cool. Yeah. And oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> See, Morgenstern. 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 
Yeah. What, what is this? It's a, it's a dope guy who was, who was like, guess what? He's out of Russia as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are they doing? He's not here? allowed to come back. He has a criminal case on him. Uh, for, for what? Promoting no, drugs. Let's, no, please. Oh, they did that in Turkey too. Erdogan did that with the uh, Ezel, Kadilak, I think. Kadilak is more popular. Kadilak? Yeah. I don't know if this is like, showable, but... It's pretty showable. <laughs> okay, my daughter He's hates me for liking him. He's an agent too. You say your daughter hates you for liking this guy? Yeah. yeah. Why? She doesn't She's like cringing it? hard when I, whenever I listen to him. I mean, like, when he, he has, like, most of his lyrics is just typical rap shit. Like, yeah. you know, I fucked this bitch, like, stuff like that. And she's a feminist, so she doesn't like that shit. Uh-huh. But I... I, I I do like him, and, this is, and, and then he also got in trouble with the Russian He's government. He's art, artist, I know. Yeah. yeah. He can make uh, some big news in Russia, always. Okay, let's... let's I want to hear... I want to hear what he's... Hard. <laughs> this is this is pretty fucking good. This this goes pretty hard. So American kids they actually do know Morgan Stern, so he he bridged this gap between Russia and America. And yeah, I mean this one is 151 he, he, million views. He made a level up in the Russian music, maybe in for American guys too. Yeah. Oh, in, did he in, did he link up with like rap. Americans? I think he literally recorded with Lil Pump. Mm. Yeah. Oh, he did, did record with yeah. Lil Pump. Yeah. Lil Pimp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is this house in Russia or is it like somewhere else? Somewhere else. I think it's Bali. Um, I don't know. Three times to make a summer. Video. This is my friend Apache. He's a he's a friend of the show, and he did uh, this song with Insta Samka, who uh, apparently yeah. also had to escape Russia. Apparently, did all these fucking artists. For, for what? For being mean to her staff. So I. I really who? Yeah. Who was mean to her staff? <laughs> Insta Samka. Oh, Insta Samka was. But um, so I I have love love hate relationships with her music. Um, same thing. Like my daughter cringe. Cringe is really fucking hard and listen to Insta I love Apache. I, I don't know Insta Samka at all, but I do love Apache. He's he's the man. He's he's dope. Insta Samka does really good shit. She refers to herself as um, Russian Cardi and she made a song that literally sounds like pop. And it's really good. I mean this goes hard as fuck though. This song does go hard as fuck. It is. I love this song. But she's also known for publicly talking shit to her makeup artists and stuff. Oh, she is. Just like you know, you're like you're here to serve me, and like I'm I'm your boss, and like I I don't think it's good look there. Well, I don't know Insta Samka at all. I just know Apache. Um, and I know this. Like, uh, my, so Will, uh, my co host for the podcast, he introduced me to this song, and I was like, this song's a banger. And then I found out that he's actually a fan. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he's the man. He's dope. He's great. Um, but I, I don't really, I don't really know Insta. I really dig this track. Like, whenever I play it on my DJ sets, people yeah. react really no, nice. It's so, so even good. They don't know the track. They showed my they, got, they have the hardest fits too. I think they they're this is how I found out about MXDBS too. Do you know what that is? The everyone is like wearing MXDBS stuff here. No, what's that? It's like the tactical uh, shit that everybody's wearing. Mm. They're Belgian. You know, 
fucking there. The Blaze? Oh yeah, of course. The Blaze is incredible. The the yeah. song about uh, them being gay, right? Isn't that territory? territory. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's a, that's another. This is another like uh, old song. Like I used to play all these songs on my mm -hmm. on my broadcasts all the fucking time. Territory, but they're not Turkish though, are they? It's not Turkish. It's like an... no, no, no. I don't think they're Turkish. I think they're like some. Ah, I know it's they're, they're... French guys, but uh, like video from Turkish, like uh, actor. Oh, the actors are Turkish. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That that does make sense, maybe. I love this song. Yeah, this song is incredible. <laughs> I just love guys in tracksuits. <laughs> and girls. I too. think they're Algerian. I mean, if they're French, that that's what a, my assumption would have been, too. But yeah. the actors are French Algerian. That's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. This is sick. This is such a beautiful video, too. It's such a it's such a cool. But uh, I don't realize what happened here. He back from army. For, he back from uh, Akhtuma prison. prison. Was on show Nadja the tracksuit you got in the UK? Uh, it's not that good though. My tracksuit is like. You have a tracksuit? Yeah, I I went and I got a roadman fit when I was in the UK. Roadman. Is it friend? No, Roadman is just like it's like Gopnik, but for, ah, like for Gopnik. Gopnik. Yeah, for, no Gopnik. Wait, why? I don't. Americans it's do Russian. not know Gopnik. Gopnik. Well, I mean, I'm, Russian, I'm, I'm, but I'm Turkish too. That's why I think this song I played mean, at a Louis Vuitton fashion show. I mean, it's a beautiful song too. So good. But Americans know about Gopnik. They yeah, claim that they know. Um, I mean, like, for the most part, when I ask people, like, do you know Gopnik? People look at me like I'm a crazy person. <laughs> yeah. Every culture has, uh, like, a different version of that, like, a different name for it. Uh, yeah, in, in Turkish, uh, we say Apache, which is, uh, like, the Apache tribe, which is mm -hmm. interesting because, like, I think it comes from uh, the, like, back in the day, uh, they would have, uh, like, they would gelled their hair mm -hmm. and uh, yeah the, the it, it literally comes from oh. yeah we got bogans in, in in australia they have bogans i really love reading comments this might be my favorite part of the stream <laughs> neds non-educated delinquents <coughs> Sam, what brand do you have uh, your uh, tracksuit? Uh, Adidas. Of Adidas. Course, of course, Adidas. Adidas. Yeah, of, of course. course. It has to be. Adikina, Adikina. <laughs> Tripolowski. <laughs> yeah, Tripolowski. Okay, I'm not really loving the stream. <laughs> I'm not mad at the stream at all. This part is so sad. I love this video so much. I love every part of this song. When I met new people and we you know we had the evening and we show each other our favorite clips and like drunk <laughs> hopefully yeah. and uh, I always uh, show for my friend this video yeah this is a great video I can't believe it. I haven't seen it before here's one of Will and Austin oh nice well I'm not in this ah, so thanks thanks for thanks for <laughs> Thanks for showing this one where they betrayed me. That was nice. We, I, I got all of us. I got all of us fits. This is great. <laughs> yeah, that was my tracksuit. Yeah. This is his. That's dope. So you went for green one? Yeah, I went for the green one. I shouldn't have gone for it. I wanted to get the cream one, but like the trucks, the tracksuits were like a little too tight. And you know, should perish. Short Paris. Short Paris. Short Paris. What, what is that? Short Paris. I think that's how you read it. What is that? It's a Russian band. It's a Russian band. I think Strashno is the best thing. This one? Um, this on the bottom. This yeah. one? Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's really magic, mesmerizing music video. He makes art. Concert very amazing. Why do they call themselves Short Paris? 
Ada Khan. To sound more Russian, you should say uh, instead of I don't know, Ada Khan. Ada Khan? What is that? Ada Khan, it's like A I D K. Shotki. I don't know. Ada Khan. Ada Khan. On the back, it's written afraid. Yeah, why is it in Arabic? Are they Arabic? Um, they're, they're, they're talking about um, Islamophobia. Hey, hello. Yeah, me too. You do? Yeah. Okay, me too now. Music is more kidding. Yeah. No, it is magic. Fuck. I had a friend who um, had an affair with this guy, and like for for a second, I couldn't. I, I was just like, he's ugly. Like, why do you like him? And then this video came out, and I was like, okay, I, I understand why you like him. He's pretty special. So, are they like bullying the immigrants? What the fuck's going on? They do not. They. I mean, that they're it's ironically commenting on on a lot of people's fears about immigrants, but yeah. they they're pro immigrants. Like fear, child. Mm -hmm. It translates as um, here. They're like pretty leftist, artistic boys. They are dancing. I've never seen a live show. I love them. Are they coming to the United States? In America, the yeah. thing, the problem is, I don't really listen to a lot of, uh, I don't really listen to a lot of music because yeah. I'm live usually, yeah. <laughs> and normally I don't actually fucking, I don't actually listen to a lot of music when I'm live, okay. um, because who is, it, I'll get the most popular right now here? One of the most, I mean, who's who's the most popular right now? Chat, I don't maybe know. Maybe you know. Who would I be? Red flag. Yeah, hit him with a Kendrick. I mean, Kendrick Lamar is pretty, Kendrick Lamar, yeah. um, pretty big, but. Hmm, let's think. Beyonce. <laughs> Kenny? Yeet is pretty big. Beyonce for sure, yeah. Beyonce just came out with another album, mm -hmm. uh, but I think it was leaked. But she's Anyway, we're not going to we're not going to exclusively new. listen to music chat. You guys are all like fucking <gasps> sending your shit, but yeah. They really want to see I speak. Yeah. Speak here is popular. I'd say it is. I I mean, this is a friend of mine who's yeah. really good. Uh, here, I'll show you one of his songs. Mm -hmm. He's been on the show as well. Uh, he's dope. Yes, uh, he is. He's amazing. Oh, you're, you're familiar with his mm -hmm. music? Yes, very much. Um, we chatted he's for a bit. We texted about making something together. Yeah. It didn't happen, but I love the song. There's a fear of a nightfall. Problems is gonna get stuck in your head after. Track sheets again. We have no picture. I think the biggest disconnect I had when I was um, so I, I came across Young Blood on, on Instagram first, and I was like, really sure he's a rapper, and then he turned out to be a singer. Yeah, uh, well, I think they might use they them pronouns now, but uh, yeah, they're. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. I've seen some. I, I've seen some shit. Uh, do or do they use they them pronouns? I don't know, uh, but. Uh, or maybe he, him, I don't know. But regardless, uh, I, I've seen that thing where he like spits in his fucking hand and then uh, and then puts it on his hair. And I was like, nope. Nope. Ever since that, I'm like, nope. Young blood. Yeah. Fuck, I haven't seen it. Like, he's very... Uh, I knew him. Um, like no, we not were... Uzi. I'm not talking about fucking little Uzi Vert dumbasses. He what? was about What's to have uh, he was about to have a tour this fall and he wanted Pussy Red to open for him. And I was stupid. I said, yes, I hate touring. And so I'm, I'm kind of glad that he canceled his tour. <laughs> JPEG spits in people's mouths. Dude. Yeah, that's true. He does. 
Uh, but no, I was talking about young blood uh, who like at a concert fucking spit in his hand and then like wiped his hair with it. And I was like, nope. <laughs> Stop trying to be cool for your friends and being mean in the chat. Shut the fuck up, dumbass. Who's Take an hour mean? off. Yeah. No, it's just like uh, it, it, it's just it's annoying when immediately everyone's like it's completely unrelated. Oh yeah, Lil Uzi Vert. That's not what I'm talking about. Um. Anyway. Uh, okay, let's see this. I want to see what the rave band who fled uh, to Russia. Russia for a lot of artists who are against war, and we are on it <laughs> in this uh, blacklist, uh, and we cannot uh, make uh, concerts. Uh, they are. It's impossible in Russia now. And are there other artists that? I just find it so funny that they have this like. You know, BBC lady, <laughs> like this BBC lady asking these questions. Are considering leaving the country? They're pretty fine. Uh, yeah, of course. All over this pussy. A lot of artists uh, moved from Russia. Bro, he's got the fuck my shit up fam haircut. What is happening here? He's like, it's like blonde in the back. He's got the Oliver tree in the front. They've done a song with Oliver. Oh, they did? They did mm -hmm. a song with Oliver tree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, was Atomic we, hash. why did you get out yeah. of Russia? After the war started, it was the 2nd of March, we decided to move from, from Russia. Did you think that your lives were actually in danger? Had you been quite vocal about your um, attitude to the war? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because of the haircut? No, I don't think so. I think in Russia you can have fucked up haircuts. They allow it. Say something. Yeah, this about is fine. This is not North Korean. And that's the reason why we decided to move. When you were in Russia and you'd started to protest, did you have trouble from the authorities, the police? Did people. What do you guys want to eat? You want to eat Turkish food? Mm, yep. Yeah. You like Turkish food? Yeah. You Kibab. like Turkish Kibab. food? I'm down as long as we can find something keto. Um, yeah, there's some, there's keto and Turkish food. Mm -hmm. You can have a kebab, but I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm vegetables is good on the grill. Yeah. Yep. Vegetables grilled. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. I'll, I'll, I'll look this up. I'll oh. this continue. Hold on. Ask you why you were protesting. When the war started, we made a post. No war. No war. And, uh, somebody called to English and said, please uh, delete this picture. What do you think the Russian people themselves think about the war in Ukraine? Do you think that more of them back Putin than condemn him? I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I don't want to believe in it. <laughs> yeah. Our friends, all our friends... Uh, against? Against uh, the war and uh, Putin uh, governments. Um, do you feel safe in Los Angeles? Yeah, yes. really safe and... We can say we can continue to work. When you see all the footage coming out of Ukraine, you... what do you think about the uh, Russian soldiers mm -hmm. that are there yeah. fighting? Uh, people die and uh, die, uh, yeah, and uh, it's impossible. It doesn't matter if Ukrainian or Russian soldiers, people die. It's not normal. We we think that it must be stopped. So, are you going to keep uh, performing? Are you going to be doing a concert in LA? Yeah, we we have plan. What a question! Uh, maybe in August uh, we want to make charity concert. Do you think you're going to be able mm -hmm. to return to Russia anytime soon? Uh, not soon. Uh, maybe Putin leaves. When Putin leaves, when Putin leaves mm. we go to Russia. But now, don't, don't show it on the camera, by the way. Watch Sonia, out, Sonia, Ilya. Thank Careful. you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. you. Oh. That was a terrible. That was a terrible interview. What the fuck? Anyway, what was a? Country. There was some stuff that I wanted to. There was some stuff that we were gonna watch. Maybe we can watch it together. But um. Oğlum karı pornojuya benziyordu diyordum. Pornojuymuş aman koyayım. Evet. Turkish people are are self-reporting in the chat right now. Uh they're like shocked. They were like, "Oh, she looks like a porn star that I like." And then I realized it is that porn star. <laughs> and Turkey porn is banned. Unfortunately. I, um I've been writing a song with uh this band Polyreal and um guys from Polyreal are like I had 
a lot of great intimate moments with uh, watching Eva. Um, they were really looking forward to meeting you. <laughs> but they unfortunately cannot come to my concert. So Eva is going to be um, a special guest um, on my concert on August 10th. I can't wait. I want to see. Yes. We're going to be dancing on stage and having fun. Um, it's in El Rey. I never said it out all, out loud publicly, but I think it's time to uh, say that also Sarah Silverman is going to be opening for Pussy Riot in El Rey. Sarah Silverman? Yeah. Damn, exclusives. Who's <laughs> 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 Sunday want to come? Um, where? Uh, El sure. Rey, August 10th. Sure, I'll be there. Cool. Um, if I'm not, if there's nothing else that I need to do on that day, I would, I'll, I'll, I would do it for sure. Um, okay, so normally. Uh, at this point, I would uh, I would be looking at uh, you know r random YouTube videos and uh, covering it, but I'm complete. My brain is like short circuited for some fucking weird reason, and I can't figure Siberian out. I had like a studio. I had like a like a plan of attack here that we were gonna take a look at. We were gonna do uh, hot or not for Twitch streamers. You know what I mean? Um. Oh, po probably time to publicly announce top of the hour. Yes, that is true. I have to. No, I'm not going to talk about the Kosovo war news, man. Like this is this is one of the worst parts about being a, a political commentator on the internet. Is like even on a fucking Sunday, there's motherfuckers in here who are like, dude, talk about the Kosovo war. I, like I don't know anything about it. I haven't looked into it. I don't know what the fuck's happening. And you want me to just like just drop it on a dime and like give you my my immediate reaction to whatever the fuck's happening? I don't know. Calm down. Guys, on Sunday, we just pray. Yeah, just just have fun, okay? Uh, yeah. is, is, go this to is, church. Yeah. Watch some porn. Calm down. <laughs> uh, especially considering hippie. that it's like <laughs> yeah. it's like the Balkans too. Or did you did you order already? But it, also, don't show it up there. Okay, just make okay, sure. Okay. Um, Doing my best. But yeah. Substituting rice with salad. Do you salad. have uh, fans who follow you uh, in the street, maybe? And what, like stalkers? I don't know. Yeah, I do have I do have stalkers for sure. But as far as like fans, um, no. I mean, I I do. You, are, do you, are you asking if I have fans that like will recognize me on the street? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course, all the time. Yeah. It's okay for you. Yeah. Do you, what about you? Do you get weirded out by that? It's yeah, a little different. It's okay. I think in Asia, a lot of people knows me and uh, always to ask me make a photo together or. Signature for teas, <laughs> for, <laughs> for girls, <laughs> for example. Uh, yeah, usually it's makes photo together. It's okay for me. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't, I didn't get some bad from people. Mm -hmm. okay. Only good vibes. Yeah. That's good. You've yeah. only, you've only had good vibes. And uh, I have uh, two, uh, two friends. Um, like, they was a. Uh, Fans, but now we are friends, and uh, they makes me gifts sometimes, and I'm surprised, like flowers, like sneakers, like uh, I don't know, clothes. Yeah, it's okay for me. I'm open for chatting together with lovers. I would My not say that if I were you. <laughs> My favorite story. Of, uh, yeah, you're like you're like oh yeah, I'm open to people randomly coming up to me. <laughs> Motherfuckers are gonna come up now. You know that, right? They're gonna be like, oh my god. Um. I loved him and told me, um, so I have this, um, like, one fan, and he uh, he treats me like his daughter. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get one of these entrees for myself, because I'm fucking starving. I think that's probably the reason why I'm, like, unable to figure out what I'm doing. Hold on. Um, uh, BT, Mediterranean pasta. I'm trying to get something that's, like, high protein low calorie but there's no like grilled chicken oh there there's a chicken, chicken kebab yeah I there's got, a chicken I, kebab I that okay. one. yeah i was trying to challenge myself like really really bad because i was I, I went on keto and then i was just like what if uh, what i'm going to be you wanna vegan and keto uh, that was really difficult you want to make your body fit or mm. vegan and keto how are you going to do that you can't do that. It is, no, it, it is possible. Um, it is possible. But vegetables but really, really are vegetables are literally. Uh, no, I'm not going to do a political commentary. No, it's like a lot you of fucking nuts weirdo. And, look at this. Um, look at what you're sending. You already literally made the tier list. Like you're. Uh -huh. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do like random fucking political commentator tier list. Okay. Why are there all guys? Yeah, it, it's just they're just being weird. Uh, don't. It's fine. 
Um, here we can I'm watch this. Perfect. Sure. The Jerogo. To make my body fit with this outfit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like same. Yeah. yeah. But one month is so difficult. It works. Um, I know it's like pretty easy for me. What do you usually eat? Well, I start my day with um, yogurt and uh, keto is cereal. Is that sugar? Um, no sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no sugar. And lately, um, almond, almond milk yogurt. Mm -hmm. Um, and then some berries, some berries, but I cannot Fruits. eat too, too much berries. I can eat just like a little pack of raspberries. Avocado. I can eat avocado. Yeah. Um, well, you know, like a any type of fish meat you can eat. Fish uh, meat is okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You should consume a lot of fat, which is challenging, but you know, it's like a lot of nut heads. Um, in California, I start my morning with, um, coffee that has uh, a lot of, um, coconut oil in it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how much calories you eat every day? No, I didn't really know. I don't watch yeah, that. I track it. I eat under 2385 calories every day. Oh, cool. That's why uh that's know? why I try to like figure out what I uh, that's why whenever I order food uh that's not in um whenever I order food that's from like uh, uh What do you call it? 1500 Whenever I order food, not that I haven't cooked myself, it's like really hard to figure out exactly what we're going to do. Okay. So on the podcast, we talked about, uh, on the podcast, we briefly mentioned that I debated this guy, Andrew Tate. And this dude, Andrew Tate, actually uh, did a Nelk Boys podcast, a, a, a collaborative, uh, like he went on this Nelk Boys podcast. These guys are like all, I mean, you can see from this intro what kind of dudes they are. But this dude, I want, I want you guys, you've never seen this guy before. I want you guys' honest opinion on this dude from the shit that he says, okay? Um, I've been meaning to watch this for the longest fucking time. Um, I don't care that you guys in the chat are saying no. Actually, mods ban everyone that said no right now. Um, I'm gonna run a uh, I'm gonna run a, a an ad break uh, before I forget. I'm really and excited then we're gonna, about the food. And holy shit, I'm starving. So I I I am very hungry. Uh, I was right. gonna eat eggs. Eggs are good for keto. Yeah. But it gets weird because you don't really lose weight. I mean, at least I don't lose weight, but um, I definitely become much more fit. Mm -hmm. Because I think it, it's better for muscles and um, your fat has just been burned. I want to find here is Russian Grechka. Grechka, yes, Grechka. Uh, West no, Hollywood. Grechka is the best buckwheat. for muscles. Because what is it? How do you spell it? It's buckwheat. Protein. Oh, buckwheat. Mm -hmm. A lot of protein. Yeah. Yep. All right, well, yeah, I don't know where it would be, but okay. All right, um, well, we're going to watch this. This is the, so this is like, okay. this is the, this is the uh, type of dudes that they are. They're like, you know, pro Trump, you know, they're like right wing. All right, boys, um, welcome to a fucking big full send podcast episode. We just flew all the way to Croatia. We fucking hopped on a plane. We're in Croatia. We got Andrew Tate right here. Lighten up a cigar. Guy loves gars. It's a good sign. What's good? You ready for this pop? This guy looks so aggressive for no reason. They are. They are very aggressive. Look at one of these. Making the video like a camera. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's called a we zoomer cut. Or, we They're doing the zoomer cuts. Like yeah. fast show, pace. Right? Yeah. Or you want to start with a gar? We can do. I just want to make sure 40. she doesn't fuck it up. The guy is 40, but the yeah, other dudes on, are young, actually. They just look like that because they probably drank too much alcohol and their bodies couldn't fucking handle it. Cash. She's supposed to be getting them. That's what right happens here. when you're an <laughs> asshole. You look older. It's a chick. One of my chicks. Yeah. One of my. So one of my wives. I got four wives. I'm from Ethiopia. Do you That's one of your wives for real, or is that a girlfriend? Girlfriend. Yeah, girlfriend. I haven't seen her in a minute. So, so wait, when you when you bring a girl, <laughs> when you bring like a girl, is she a girlfriend or just a girl for the trip? Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Yeah. So you like oh, make her? You put her on cigar duty? Man. Well, I, if I if I need I a cigar, like then I would ask her to go. <laughs> but right right off the bat, you don't like it. Sure. Girls from a trip? It's like a woman, it's not a dish. Like property? Object, yeah, property, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, Russian, I mean, you've already, you've, uh, yeah, you, I mean, right off the jump, you, you nailed it. It is how he, wait, hold on. Okay, that, yeah, that is how he operates, so. Right off, right off the jump, you know, that is. Also, his style, like, what's up with those shoes? <laughs> 
Oh, Tur- the Turkey, shoes? Turkish style. Yeah, yeah, that is that is a little... So in Russia, ethnic political police, they usually love to wear those shoes, so I have an allergy when I see them. I was just like, I'm fucking... I mean, those are like those are like little slippies, you know what I mean? He's got like... <laughs> it's like what the, the, the shoes are basically like, I want to fucking look business casual, but I also want to wear like a, a, like a slip-on, which is interesting because like... His whole shtick is about like being like a macho masculine alpha guy, mm-hmm. but he dresses like a like a metrosexual uh, Middle Eastern man with like skin tight khakis, skin tight black tee. Mm-hmm. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying that like it kind of goes against like the whole vibe that he tries to put out there. But because he has like a half, because yeah, he has the L.A. Persian guy drip. Okay, but because he has like the whole British accent, he has like a fake British accent because. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Where's he like he, from? he moved he moved to like uh, the UK when he was younger. Why? To um, make a British accent special. Well, because he wears a because he has a British accent. Like I think people are just like, oh, he's just European. That's why he's dressed like that. Oh, politely get me a cigar. Yeah. What if she said no? How could she possibly say no to me? <laughs> what if she's like, why why do I have to get your cigars? Like get your own cigars. Why do I have to put you on a private jet to fucking Croatia? Fuck off then. There you go. There you go. I agree with that. <laughs> like, wait, wait, wait. So how many, <laughs> how many how many girlfriends? Me? Yeah. Man, I'm a man of God. I'm a good man. I don't want to be in this podcast. Everyone trying to tell the world that I'm some kind of horrible, evil misogynist. Everyone seems yeah. to think I am for some reason. Yeah. I, I think it's great. This is a couple days after he had we had uh, duked it out on the internet. So he's like <laughs> What's happening with that protein powder in the back? Yeah, they're just selling their <laughs> fucking that's the full send podcast protein powder, apparently. Yeah, multiple. But do you? Yeah, why not? I mean, if they're okay with it. Yeah. Well, uh, do you have like a ranking system? Like you have a main piece and then side girls? How does that work? Main piece. I'm a man of... I love... Like, this is exactly the the archetypical fan of this guy, though. He's like, huh, what do you got? Like a main piece? It's like, bro, what are you talking about, dog? Like, what do you, what do you mean main piece? Okay? God damn. I, I really want to see people who are, who are he in, in his audience. I mean, you're seeing it right now. This yeah. this homie is like. I mean, these are the homies that are in his audience for the most part. Like a ranking looks system, like an like insult. Like main me. piece and then side girls. How does that work? I'm a man of God. I read the Bible. I go to church. I don't know. I can't possibly. Yeah, yeah, this is obviously going to be watched by every single female that has any kind of association to me, and I'm loyal to all of them. Oh, that's awesome. There you go. So do 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 the math on that one. See, baby, I told you I was loyal. Don't worry about it. So I'm loyal you, to all of you at the same time. You think it's possible for a man to, to be loyal to one girl? I think it's... Do I want to have a child? Yeah. Eventually, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would like to have one, yeah. Maybe a couple, who knows? Little, little uh, Hassan's running around, <laughs> Hassan Juniors. But yeah, a lot, of the, a lot of the stuff that he says is just like trolling, but you can kind of tell, you'll see in a it's second. It's possible for men to do lots of things, sure. We can go to the moon, you can be loyal to one girl. You don't want to have kids, You can go scuba diving if you want to. I'm afraid of. I, I, I don't understand. You're afraid, of, you're afraid of children? No, but I don't want right now. Uh, well, not right now. And I, <laughs> like right uh, now. I don't know. I don't understand how is it possible to born so big baby from my vagina. I don't know. I'm afraid of. That's challenging. Uh, it's it's crazy. Fun. It's crazy. I, w- I, I do not advise people to have kids generally. Um, I do have one. It's so easy to She's be dope, man. But <laughs> yeah, we, I don't have to. Yeah, I don't have to push anything out. You know what I mean? That's it. Uh, that is. It is easy for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't think that if men were truly honest with themselves that they want to be, I think men are loyal to a woman to try and inspire loyalty out of her. A man will sit there and go, I only want to be with her. But really what they're saying is, I only want her to be with me, which is a masculine imperative and it's natural and I completely understand that every man's the same. But if you could make a woman be loyal to you while not being loyal to her, then you would not be loyal to her. If a man's truly honest and says, if I can press this button and she's loyal to me no matter what I do, am I still going to only be with her? Now you might prefer her, you might spend 99% of your time with her, etc. Completely get that. But on a long enough time frame for the rest of your human life, if she's going to be loyal to you regardless, are you telling me that with a, without any kind of backlash from her, without the chance of her cheating, without any bullshit, you're going to tell me for the next 50 Cheers years you're not going to fuck anything ever once? If she let you, why not? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like everyone would agree to that. Everyone but, would agree. I wonder if they'll ask the question, the reverse of it, like, would you be comfortable with your partner having sex with someone else, like your, your woman partner? Uh, 
Is like, this Did you is ask what you, him? You had a conversation with him, right? Well, not about this. Uh, we talked about some other shit. We talked about how, like, uh, he, he constantly was talking about, like, how women are bad drivers, how women are bad drivers, and it, like, uh, I mean, there is evidence to suggest the exact opposite, that women are safer drivers than men overall, um, at least according to the insurance industry. That's what I've been saying as well. Yeah, and he was like, oh, well, my own personal experience. I mean, here, I'll just show you this fucking TikTok. Th this... This uh, basically describes the the entire. You, you mean this is okay to have a sex with other people when you have a partner in Russia? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's saying it's like you, you should be able to fuck other people as a man. I, even if I thought. And I'm saying like, I'm I'm asking the question like, would he feel even the same I, way about, uh, you know, his his uh, female partner? And usually, uh, and I'm sure they'll even get to that. But uh, usually, the answer is of course not. I'm a man. I get to do that. Even if I thought women were worse drivers, I've seen empirical evidence, and I'm so smart that I ignore my own eyes and ears and believe what the internet tells me. That's what he's That's coming not what I'm saying. asking you to do, my I'm friend. Sure I'm sure you're double vaccinated. It all makes sense to me now. You believe what you're told to believe. You don't believe your own eyes. <laughs> I, I have uh, sex with other girls when I have a partner. He's a man. And uh, for him, it's okay because I'm bisexual and I have some... Um, I need to have a sex with girls, you know, like uh, mm -hmm. I like girls and uh, why not? It's uh, okay for him. And for me, if if he want to have a sex with guys, okay, you can. Is it okay <laughs> for you if he has uh, sex with g girls? Um, no. How does it, like, I was just like, always wondering how it works because um, I mean, like a lot of guys say that it's okay if you have sex with um, other girls, but uh, I'm not down for you to have sex with guys. What do you think is that? But for me, interesting to have experience together. If uh, you want to fuck some girls, okay, I want to fuck her too. Let's do it together. I It'll agree. be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, I, uh, but oh, because you're done. into because you're into um uh, what do you call it? You're into fucking girls though. That's like that's what it is. is some people are just like straight and they don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. you know but what, what I mean? if you feel like men are less threatened by um their partner to fuck girls? Like no, the like honest the honest answer is yes. Men are not threatened by uh by women in the same way. I think like, but it's like bisexuality. It, 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 it's still, so wrong though. I mean, the, no, <laughs> it is wrong. Yeah, but bisexuality is seen as like. Uh, so here's the thing. There's a there's a reason why people say like bi visibility in America. Like people say that like bisexuals aren't real or whatever because um, they'll say that uh, they'll say that bisexual women aren't actually really into women. Mm -hmm. They're actually just into men and they're like you know only pleasing men by having sex with women. And they'll say bisexual men aren't really uh, bisexual and into women. They're into men. And they're gay, but they're just like uh, caping or coping as mm -hmm. uh, as as uh, bisexuals, and both of those concepts still revolve around the male gaze because of our patriarchal construct. So, like, uh, bisexuality is always seen through the lens, like, or bisexuality and the legitimacy of bisexuality is always seen through the lens of like what men think, what straight men think about bisexuals. I'm not following a follow. Um, он говорит, что это все вокруг мужского взгляда и мужского, может, мужской перспективы, потому что он говорит, что типа девушки, которые бисексуалки, они на самом деле не просто пытаются ублажить своего мужика тем самым. No, I'm saying like uh, when people say bisexuals aren't real. No, он критикует это. Yeah. 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 Okay. Он критикует so, патриархальную структуру. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that's that is where that comes from, like um, that like guys don't care if their uh, if their female partner has sex with another woman because it's like not the same as like having sex with a guy. They don't see it as like direct competition, mm -hmm. which in a way it does make sense because like you know if if uh, the other person doesn't have a penis, right? Mm -hmm. It's like they don't see that as like uh, it's just something that they can't offer anyway, which is kind of what she was saying. Yeah, true. Yeah, I'm, right? I'm, well, I think like, just a lot of people think that sex is about penetration necessarily, and it's not really like I, I've had interactions with a lot of men who'd be like, "We didn't have sex." I was like, "Well, we we we, we did because and you sucked my clit and uh, you were putting your fingers in my vagina and like we were making out. We did have sex, and they're like, "No, we didn't." And I really <laughs> don't understand. Uh, lot of guys like very horny girls, very open girls, but after you men said that she's very slut. 
like it's not yeah, normal. men like the idea of of uh open-minded women who are sexually liberated but then they don't um but but they actually secretly are terrified of it and and don't want that or they get mad at it when mm -hmm. women are expressing their sexuality openly yeah but uh, ultimately, this reduces the conversation. That and that's what you're going to sit here and talk about. He's just saying that evidence doesn't matter. My personal experience is but empirical more evidence that you found on Google. It's cool. You uh, do you believe the Earth is flat, or do you believe and, the Earth? <laughs> and ultimately, yeah, here <laughs> is is, is great, spherical, is <laughs> round. Oh, you took the headphones off? Um, he gets very stressed sometimes, and you know. Yeah. Like, sometimes you can't take the heat. I mean, I do so you think there is something the to be said bit. about um, falling shape you believe of the earth? stars. Yeah. <laughs> but this flat or round is round. very Freudian. What, you round. believe it's round, right? But when you walk outside, it feels like it's flat. Brother, brother, and I. I, I <laughs> it looks flat, it feels flat, but you believe it's round. Why do you uh, believe the earth is round? Because. I have personal experience that would prove to me that the Earth is round. Oh, you have personal experience. What, what happened? Did you go up to the fucking moon? Is well, that how you figured right. it out? Exactly. I flew up into space and I looked down on Earth. <laughs> the guy's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> no, he was because he was trying to make the argument that like his personal experience uh, trumps like scientific evidence or science in general. And I wanted to make him concede on the point that like uh, the Earth seems flat, but we know it's not because of science. And and that's basically like the the major. Uh, the the major argument that we had originally, and he got like very upset, and he was like, "You're boring, you're boring, you're be you're boring everybody," um, and um, you know, after that he did this podcast, but like the but a lot of people were just saying like he got fucking owned or whatever, um, in that so in that situation. So you think this podcast was a reaction to your interaction before? No, no, I, I mean I don't think so, but uh, he did. He hasn't been on Twitch since. We were supposed to do another conversation. We'll we'll figure it's it out right. eventually. So it's different hopefully. for men and women. Is what it's completely different for men yeah. and women, and it's also Should different because a lot of people misunderstand what I say. It's different for men of a certain status, right? If you uh, if you're sure a man who has his it. shit together, at a certain level of yeah, status, you can say to a um, woman, "Look." You know, the thing I, I learned in jail, like I, I'm open to talk to person with any beliefs. I don't mind it. Mm -hmm. I was in jail. I was with the people who love Putin, who used to be cops, and with some of them, I I managed to become friends. And some of them actually changed their position, which was really, really fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think, I mean, this guy, this is a professional person. Like, his job is basically to be a professional misogynist. So, yeah. you're not going to be able it's to change incredible. someone's, um, I, I always say this on my we stream. You have to go to jail together for like six months. Six yeah. months is well, my gold time, like, you know, for entering he, he, men's he might. ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we well, just in podcast. judging by his business practices you you know you never know he might actually go to jail you'll see i love you with all my heart i want to be with you i'm gonna take care of you but you're not gonna tell me what to do i'm in charge because this is my life you're on the tape train and Talking we're, we're headed to success station okay. i'm the one driving it and if you're gonna be on my train certain things are gonna happen if you're unhappy you can get off no problem i feel like you've been experiencing that it's like a high value male me and salim kind of just started I'm hoping Steiny gets there one day, but once you get there, it'll be, Funny, yes. yeah. it'll be dope. When you get into the high value area, it's like, it's pretty fire. So I well, usually run place, when I see guys who dress than... like this, who look like this, I run. What do you think about the concept of high value male? If someone refers to themselves as a high value male, what does that do? Is that just shut off your vagina completely when you hear that? <laughs> I it's think like, it would be more interesting actually than talking to these guys to be talking to their girlfriends. That's actually... Inter I mean, it's a great fucking idea. <laughs> unironically, that would be cool to see. Uh, Are they public? What? Are they public? They have socials. I, I don't think these dudes have girlfriends. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> like, they never fucked in their lives. Yeah, most of these. Maybe dudes, with their uh, hand. Mo most of the fucking dudes that watch Andrew Tate and like uh, find him to be like really valid and have good ideas, I don't think they have girlfriends. Mm. You know. And you would accept from someone who's easy to replace, right? This is basic yeah. human psychology. We can take it away from dating and apply it to basically anything. You will accept your Lamborghini breaking down because it's hard to replace it. You will not accept your Toyota breaking down because you can just go get a Nissan. So it's the same kind of game, right? If you look at a guy and go, he is amazing at everything. I truly feel, um, I feel happy with this man. I can't find another man on his level who could possibly replace him or fill the Nissan. hole in my life he would leave. Sometimes he fucks that bitch. Oh, fine. You're more like accept it. That's human glasses inside. I like that. <laughs> I like that he's referring uh, referring uh, to himself as a Lamborghini. Like he's saying he's the Lamborghini of men. Which, as I've said time and time again, who is Tesla? 
I don't know, but uh-huh. Teslas are dog shit, so <laughs> it would catch you on fire. Hassan, who are you? What? Who and are cars. You? I don't fucking. I'm a, I'm a. I'm a lotta. That's what I am. A lotta. Yeah, Jiguli. You call it Jiguli? Jiguli. No, oh my I... God! That's a that's the name of a Turkish uh, uh, musician who is a uh, Romani. Jiguli. Jiguli. Yeah. Jiguli. That's crazy. <laughs> You're more of a Jeep. I don't fucking know. I I think I'm more of like a, I'm a big bulky uh, Escalade. That's what I feel like sometimes. I'm a Ford F-150. That's nature, right. right. It's not even about <laughs> intersexual dynamics and all the things I talk yeah. about, even Small, though I could party. use those examples <laughs> to apply <laughs> all of my beautiful, completely correct, I like that. logical. Well, then I'm an know, electric bike. The reason I don't do that is because everyone comes back and says misogynist, this misogynist, is the only misogynist. So I cool. I do not Stop drive, crying. Yeah. but I love like, my electric bike. You guys do not want to watch. If you don't want to watch this, we don't have to. Um, Seems like no, you're not we can. Interested. We can. We, we were just more interested in talking about electric <laughs> bikes. Because <laughs> you're just like, you're like, ah, oh, fuck this. <laughs> no, he's just, he's just trying to describe that he's not a misogynist while also simultaneously describing misogyny uh, about like how um, high value men are, are able to do certain things. Um, but of course, not a single person is turning around and asking him like if he what he what he feels about like a high value woman. Yeah, cut this one out. Enough dunking on this idiot. I don't care what you guys in the chat have to say. I've been meaning to watch it for the past fucking four days. I want to watch it. Let's um, watch a little bit more. It's human nature. Your your perspective like, is people inappropriate. Like this in real life. <laughs> Yeah, we're not going to yeah. be quick to replace something or attempt really? to replace something, yeah. which is basically you don't meet misogynistic dudes like that that think this way in real life. That's crazy. They do do things this way, but they're not brave well, you're, enough you're to say it out right loud. Now, me, <laughs> I, I think this way. That's how I am. We love Hassan for that. You're replaceable. So if you're a high enough status individual, then you get to get away with more. That's they say basic Hassan, human stop. psychology, <laughs> isn't it? As a whole, and I think that. Uh, I'm with guys here. I'm not, I don't have to be polite. I don't have to say I think. I could say I know. I yeah, know. I don't think there's any girls in the room. Is there? Is, is there? Is there <laughs> any? You're oh. good. Bro. Oh, oh, act like there's You're good, bro. Oh. You can say. I know that. They're women all as a dying. Whole are like, quite they look so bored of, their of him. Women are very, very intelligent. I know what people say I'm misogynistic and people say I say bad things about women. Women are very, very intelligent in certain key areas. And one of the things they are most intelligent at or best at is, is reading their own status and understanding what they can and can't get away with. Women are experts at that. How do you get, women you know get the their same place. chick? Who He's saying women are experts at knowing their place. <laughs> acts X way with one guy and get with a new guy and act completely differently. Wait, because do you think that's subconsciously though? Like with I think it's, bro, I don't understand. Like, <laughs> wait, wait, he he's making it seem like men don't do that. Like that's like he's like, oh, women women have like really good intelligence of like uh, changing uh, their behavior around certain people. It's like, bro, you're just literally. You are just straight up fucking describing, uh, um, you know, self awareness, code switching, uh, or fine. being self aware. Like men do it too. <laughs> Is it reading social? Cues? I mean, ideally, I don't think this men do that. Like that's their problem. <laughs> that's not they what he are said. Not self aware. Subconscious, but I also think this. Well, of course, he's he's saying women are good at manipulation. That's where it it, yeah. it has to like still be associated with like a negative value. Like I'm talking about it from the perspective of like what everyone is like the irony of course is that like they literally looked around the room to see if there were any women so he could say this which ironically is the fucking same take that you know he's describing about women is a feminine quality right looking around and seeing if there's any women around to change your behavior is literally what he's talking about but a lot of time on instagram a lot of time looking at their com- competition a lot of I time really looking in the mirror i think that they have any to- women around them because do you see any women in this room no i don't no, the irony, of course, is that, like, here's the thing. Most of the guys like this, like Dan Bilzerian and son. shit. He has women around him. Well, that's, the, that's <laughs> what I was going to say. Like, these dudes, 90% of the fucking time, these dudes uh, have to pay to have women around them. Like, they have to pay women to be around them. Like, they just never have, like, organically women around them. It's suspicious. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. That's a weird question. So as you say it, I'm just wondering how much would he have to offer for me to be around him for a couple of hours? Hmm. I mean, he I would say know. like, uh, no, I would never, I would never do that. You know what I mean? I would never pay, but you know, it's just, uh, it is what it would is. Would it fucking look for a million dollars? 
I don't know. This is an open question. Would you fuck? Would you fuck Andrew Tate for a million dollars? I don't know. I'm thinking like, and I'm I'm thinking really hard. Maybe. Are you trying to get? Are you trying to get money out of this man right now? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I oh, don't. I don't fuck. mind to get money from stupid men. <laughs> Our order got canceled. Yikes! That because is... we watched this guy. No, no, fuck! They just didn't have something that You're was. so hungry. I'm so hungry. You guys just want Chipotle, which will be fast. I'm down. Yeah. Like uh, like a a, a... Chipotle is great. It was my pandemic food. Okay, <laughs> that's what we're doing then. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry to do this to you. I know I said we're gonna get Turkish food, but I'm just gonna get fucking the when quickest I'm hungry, thing. I'm so ugly. What about you? Mm, what do you mean really? ugly? No, no, no. Like, ah. Uh, oh, you're saying like when you're hungry, you behave in an ugly yeah. way. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Here you go. Go ahead. What well, also, I'm, I'm skipping two days of my antidepressants, which is, um, I don't know. It's not ideal. You guys, like, who, if you're antidepressants, do not skip them. I just ran out of them. I didn't have time to run to pharmacy. I feel challenged. No. A lot of time, they spend a lot of time on themselves and within themselves, and they're pretty good at understanding their value and what they can get away with oh. when it's compared against the value that's sitting opposite them, right? So they'll sit opposite one guy and be a dickhead and sit opposite the next guy and be a sweetheart. They're quite smart at that, right? That's so facts. I, it's true. So I think that most women actually, they get with a guy who they really know has his shit together. They're not going to sit there with that guy and say, listen, you better Just not, because no. I'm like, if I talk to him that way, he's definitely going to do it. Gonna yeah. like so they're going to come at a different angle. Difference. It would really hurt me if you, and then once they say it would really hurt me if you, then you can, then you can apply counters to that in different ways. You can just simply ask, why would that hurt you? Well, if you're fucking all these bitches, how do I know I'm special? So the only reason you know you're special is because I'm sexually exclusive. So if you knew you were special with something else, perhaps you did something else with me or I did something else with you that I don't do with anybody else and you would know you were special. So what are you worried about me fucking that bitch for? And it, it can't be that logical because females are not that logical. I feel like you can't I'm back explain in it Miami that way. But I'm saying if you're with a woman long enough. Females are not that logical. <laughs> long enough well, and you have frame bitch. and you have influence over her and you understand these basic paradigms and you, you mention them and in the correct conversations that the correct way. And given that electricity in it, I don't think anyone is really logical. No, he's just, I mean, they're, they really aren't. Yeah, dude, too digital. I'm sure you are very well aware of uh, how women are. I'm, it's always like dudes that are literally like the most, the the furthest away from women. Un women unironically always talking about women a, a certain way. It's like usually every single time I see one of these motherfuckers talking about women, like uh, especially like one of the key words, like females, females referring to women as like females, females, females. It's like they are they've never talked to a woman they behave like they've never talked to a woman and most of the times most of the times they really haven't like it's pretty obvious uh, it's just why the fuck would i ask you what women are like chatter you don't know shit you've never been around a woman watch out for the camera once again just making sure the correct about. frame over time they'll learn to accept it I say this and people completely have a meltdown. I don't know why people have a meltdown. It's fucking, it's facts. This is so dope. It's facts. So if you, you are fucking, a restaurant, you think these make sure you have keto option, please. Well, they have it. Yeah. Chipotle has it. These rappers fucking all these girls. The girls are it's telling dope. them, you better be loyal. You better be loyal. <laughs> no, but why? Fuck no. Because they're going to stay us. Because they don't want to be you. left. Because they know he'll just say no. Bye. So they just don't. They're like, okay, look at me in the mirror. Can I be replaced? Yes. Can he be replaced? Not easily. Fuck, I gotta take this Yeah, I mean in the oh, in the in the scenario God. that I invented in my fucking mind, uh I uh, I am irreplaceable. I mean this is just narcissism. Uh pretty pretty basic stuff, I think. I think um, he's um pretty basic I narcissism. Think he's sick. I think he's ill. He's sick, he's not <laughs> This deal. He's not that's thinking clearly. It's like, it's, and that's human psychology. You can apply that to anything. You can apply it to the fight game, there's an A side, B side, human inter human relationships, there's an A side, B side. Business deals, there's an A side, B side. Someone's got to fucking take the B side. So the way you're saying yeah, I feel lose. like he's talking yeah. to a degree. Yeah, 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 to a degree. To a degree. And, and, but this is the thing about relationships. Because you talk about relationships English, I don't really understand what this guy is talking about. Yeah, I... Uh, How many followers he has? I guess he's the biggest on so, TikTok. So he's like... The, the reason why like a lot of people started paying attention to Andrew Tate is because like he doesn't really have like a big... Uh, he doesn't have his own personal uh, social media. I think he has a TikTok and he has an Instagram. They're all right. There's like 3 million followers or whatever. But I'll show you why. 
I'll show you why Andrew Tate is uh, uh, incredibly, uh, pre incredibly top of mind at this very moment. Okay. So let's do a Google Trends search on Andrew Tate. People are telling me the keto is bad. Well, I'll yeah, like just keto. don't listen to anything like in Twitch chat. It's just it, who cares. I didn't, so I in the past really twelve months, he's chat. like blown up, right? You can see the trend lines here. Like he's just like really, really I exploding in so popularity. So what happened in his life? Um, let's put like uh, Mr. Beast for example. I think Ludwig did this as well. This is Mr. Beast at his fucking peak. You know what I mean? Mr. Beast is arguably one of the largest content creators. He just reached 100 million subscribers on YouTube. Look at Andrew Tate's uh, uh, trend line of people fucking searching him um, rather, than, uh, uh, rather than fucking Mr. Beast, who is right now one of the largest, one of the largest content creators. Um, if you look at like the past 90 days, once again, there it is. Mr. Beast is at like... Mr. Beast is a, a trend line. If you look at me by comparison, it's going to be nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, there it is. It's like a oh. fraction. So this dude is like all over the internet. He's being searched nonstop, endlessly. Um, so... Uh, well, we are moving towards extinction. Yeah. Well, I mean, that is the part Earth of it. The Earth is on fire. We are moving towards... Hasanabi is going to be less <laughs> than a Sandpiker. Yeah, see? <laughs> So that's the is it reason. Is hot here? Or am I tripping? It is a little bit hotter in here. I I did turn on the AC? I did turn on the AC, but sometimes it gets this way in the middle of the day for some fucking weird reason. It just like automatically turns off or some shit. I think California provisions on like it's on right now. It's at sixty eight, but we'll we'll turn it on a little bit more. So okay, like let's discuss why people love this asshole. Well, he, they love it because, like, he's, he's just... He's entertaining, so I think most of the people they did not agree with him, but they think, like, who is this fucking clown? No, no, no. Most Let's people do agree with him. him. I think that there are a lot of people that think exactly like he does, and they find him to be this, like, brilliant orator who is, uh, you know, triggering all the right people, you know, pissing them off, and also simultaneously... Uh, simultaneously communicating their, uh, communicating their feelings adequately they think he is like a, a good <laughs> definitely not nadia is right it's mostly people disagreeing with him no i think you guys are delusional if you think that most people disagree with a, a lot of what he's saying about being like a high value male or uh, being an alpha male or saying that like women are your fucking property or treating them like uh, well, their like property a fucking house on men's planning <laughs> I love that. Yeah, no, they're going to say that a lot. I have the... I fucking the, love that. I, I actually, like, I, I love to be mansplained, guys. <laughs> All I'm saying is I have a pound for pound. I have some of the worst, most fucking annoying little simp uh, dickheads in my chat who unironically will turn around and... So what and about... It? Uh, okay. Otherize women. So this guy, where, where does he have a most of his following? Is it the United States? All around. I think he's, like, worldwide. Um, this is the first time he's getting some pushback, though. Like, before, he just kind of went unaddressed, and people were just basically... Uh, he's very popular. He is, yeah. 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 Oh, everyone says what I say is crazy. All I say is that love is real. Men and women should be in love. A man can be completely in love with a woman and care about her and still but sometimes fuck doing... something else. Like, the higher your status, the more you is can get away blogger? with because that girl's so afraid to leave. No, he owns uh, he owns casinos in Romania, and he owns uh, he has like a webcam business where he has like girls that do uh, webcamming for him. Uh, and what he do you has, mean for him? Like, what was there? Was there a business model? Uh, he dates girls and then gets them to do webcamming. How mm -hmm. like he dates every he he, single? Yeah, he says he dates model? girls and then tells them to start doing webcamming. He used to openly mention it. Like, and then he deleted it from his website that he like, he used to brag about it. He's like, oh yeah, I date these girls. He'll talk about it here probably as well. And, uh, in their webcamming business, like they've actually, um, in their camming business, they've actually, from what I understand, like scammed people too, mm. um, openly, uh, openly scam people, uh, into like giving them money saying like, dude, I don't want to fucking watch this dude. This dude sucks. He's irrelevant. Okay, let's that. just continue. So you can do whatever you want. Bro, it's the same, but it's the same with anything. Yeah. Oh, is it, like, buy a McLaren. It's not, it's not going to work for half the year. 
They're fucking nightmares, but they're McLarens. So I, it's just a game. <laughs> like I used to talk to Salim and he'd have random girls and he'd be like, yo, what is ET I, I'm, I'm food? crazy over this chicken. I would like say, Salim, 20 minutes. think yes. about who you are. You can get, I know, I'm starving. I have a headache. Want. These are just random chicks. Right? I'm so yeah. hungry, especially yeah. watching this. Oh, so there's levels to <laughs> it. And I think that, uh, I think that chicks okay. don't realize that. I'm what do you want to watch? We can watch something different. It's fine. I, I, I've just been meaning to watch it because I want to see it, but like, uh, I wanted to see what he had to say on this podcast, but like, I'll, I'll watch it some other time. Um, so, you know, it's, it's all show them Joe Rogan. Yeah, dude. She, they, they think that this is boring. I'm sure they'll love the Joe Rogan video of like the possibility of using, Russia using nuclear we weapons. Gonna... You want to watch this? This is more interesting. Okay. Event we'll watch this instead. Forms of weapons Maybe do you want to watch using the artificial right an adult movie. <laughs> yeah. We can't watch adult movies and get banned. <laughs> We can watch it off screen. Yeah, but no, we're How not. How often do you intelligence. usually watch the adult movie in the week? What, porn? Yep. Um, Probably like, I mean, I don't know. It's just how often I jerk off, so once a day. Every day? Pretty much. Cool. Yeah. What about Why? you? Why? What about you? How often not, do you watch? Not every day, like maybe two, three times a week. Yep. It just depends. If I'm, having a, if I'm having a slow week, if I'm having a slow week, I'll, I won't watch it every day. But I feel lazy. I'm yes, I'm ready to masturbate, but I prefer sex to have sex. Yes. What kind of what kind of porn do you like? I prefer amateur. Yes. Me too. Like some hentai, like cute girls. I don't like her uh, girls with uh, not natural boobs and not natural ass, like very big and uh, I don't like. I prefer natural natural girls. Me too. That's what, what I like you, as well. What is your favorite yeah. actress? The damn Asanya 31 and you still jerk off every day, Lamont? Yeah, motherfucker. What do you mean? I got a healthy, <laughs> I got healthy T levels, bitch. What is, there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? Just like there's nothing wrong with the top of the hour ad break, which you can avoid by subscribing for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. <laughs> That's right. Get your baited. I jerk off a lot when I'm on, on tour because it's generally really, um, it, it's stressful. And when I'm stressed, I tend to jerk off uh -huh. more. So I, I could do like, three times a day but when i'm just um you know working from the house and i'm in a comfort yeah, comfortable environment my favorite uh, toys is broken and i'm sad right now <laughs> what is your favorite toy uh womanizer you know? do you want i have literally unopened boxes of womanizers upstairs yeah. i can give you one if you want i want it ah! i don't have it I'm so yeah happy. you have two they ah! send me yeah i have a bunch yeah because they, they sent my me my charge is broken they sent me a bunch of packages like a while Ooh. ago because like i used to get them um yeah. i used to get them for like people i'm seeing and stuff and um and so they literally like sent me uh a a box of a fuckload of womanizers yeah. like a bunch of different and versions of I it i love uh, magic ones from pornhub but uh, so really huge yeah. magic wand and it's not uh easy to travel to travel yeah <laughs> <I know. laughs> you want, yep. and you know in thailand it's n not illegal to bring with you some uh, toys wait so what why yeah and dubai too it's not oh fuck thailand is insane i had to watch porn with vpn yeah. turkey or too turkey it's banned in but thailand why it's very interesting country you can uh see a lot of trans uh, in the street and yeah. street bar but you can buy a sex toy what the fuck is it illegal to own a sex toy yeah or just like certain so types of sex toy or just like regular you can order you can order it's not illegal i can't wait for i can't wait for that to <laughs> happen in america as well <laughs> Yeah. It's coming, it's coming. Uh, wait, have you seen news? That, uh, was it in Texas that you can own just six dildos? And oh, yeah, that's a Ted Cruz. Uh, that literally is a direct fucking Ted Cruz uh, provision in Texas where they made it. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Ted Cruz was like pushing to make it illegal to own uh, multiple sex toys, right? Or something like that. So it didn't go through yet. Oh, oh wait, no, that was a sex shop, I think. Mm. Yeah, no, here it is. Ted Cruz defended... The ban on Texas ban on sale of sex toys what in the state. Fuck? So this guy, w I'm uh, gonna be trading this guy sex toys illegally in Texas so bad. Yeah, in in Texas you don't have a limit on how many fucking guns you can own, but you have a limit on how many fucking dildos you can have. <laughs> this yeah. is great. This is great. Yeah, Ted Cruz argued uh, at the time, Republican presidential candidate Ted Cruz argued in 2007 in a court brief that individuals have no legal right to use them, even in the privacy of your own bedrooms. They wanted to ban the sale of so sex sweet. toys. 
there. Yeah. Well, next time you're coming, like, um, next time you go to Pussy Riot concert, know that you can buy some <laughs> of me. <laughs> cool. Yeah, they wanna they wanna fucking limit. They wanna put a fucking limit on sex toys, but no limits on guns, of course. But this, um, I I understand here is a lot of things like I can I wanna buy contact contact lines, but I can because I need a receipt prescription for contact lenses which yes. is insane but yeah. uh, but i can go to the smoke shop it can buy a drugs why you also yeah. can buy drugs gun. are legal <laughs> fine luckily uh, or at least marijuana is like finally but legal some pills? No. yeah yeah we can we can buy a uh, pretty much uh, like a, a, a lot of pills without any prescription and, and uh <laughs> doing this can you tell me more about cashback in the supermarket? What is the uh, what is so strange things like you cashback? Pay the yeah, and what? you you can yeah uh, you can put your you can put your credit card in and they they charge your credit card or your debit card extra money so you can get money back in cash if, if you want to use cash. ATM. ATM. Yeah, it's just easier. It's just more convenient. Wow, it's the first country when I see here. Yeah, it's so strange. Yeah, wait, oh, your your mic is apparently cutting off. Hold on, let me just figure this out mm -hmm. real quick. Um, hold on. But yeah, that's uh, it, it is weird. America's got some weird ass fucking rules, you know? Mm -hmm. Um doo -doo 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 -doo. this yep, the second working. mic noise gate. Oh, that's why. Cause you had a noise gate on on yours for some fucking reason. Alright, you should be fine now. Uh, right now is better. No, speak? speak right now right now yeah is way it's totally fixed yeah cool. okay it's good all right perfect um okay. we, like i said we we just shot a podcast earlier so like a lot of the setup that we had chat was fucked up <laughs> um it was like it was uh it, it was it was like broken basically and that's why um but yeah it's it's just weird and it's really hypocritical like what they do in in america with respect mm -hmm. to these laws you know when you have guests on, you don't reach out. You act like you're so much cooler than us. Um, <laughs> yeah, because when I do reach out, you guys say the dumbest and uh, the most awkward shit. That's precisely yeah. why I don't do it. Whenever I have, especially when I have female guests on, y'all are fucking crazy. And you get really weird. You're like, give her, you'll, you'll say like weirdly sexual things. Or there's a lot of people in the chat that say like, oh, you know, go turn off the podcast and go fuck them or whatever the fuck. And it's not like, that's not what's going on. You guys are being fucking weird. Like, stop. Go get her a drink. Go get her a drink. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, and if you, you're, open, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Okay. keep here. I'm, I was literally gonna get up and do that right now. Actually, okay. hold on. I'll, okay. I'll just because that one doesn't stay open unless I do something. One second. Okay. Um, bro, she was literally asking you to watch an adult film earlier. What? Yeah, it, it, it's a <laughs> joke. It's called a joke. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> one second. Woo, it is hot. It's a motherfucker in here. It is hot. My feet is cold. I came to the studio the, uh, the other Sucks. day and um, they had their AC broke and oh. I don't have good luck with ACs lately. <sighs> My brain is melting. I'm just turning into a hmm. piece of meat that wants to sleep and fuck when it's hot. <laughs> I feel that. More coffee? More coffee, yeah. Mm. More coffee's not. What are you better. feeling when you drink so much coffee? How do I feel? Um, I mean, I have an incredible tolerance to coffee because my grandmother um, used to be um, a caffeine addict. My dad as well, so it just runs oh. in my family. And I started my morning from a big fat caffeine pill. Wow. And then after that, I followed with, with coffee. With milk? Hmm? With milk? No, I just like, um, I just take a pill of coffee. Since like caffeine was nice, she used to keep a black caffeine was so you, you, I start with two hundred milligrams of ah. caffeine pill. Wow. And then And do you feel better, you feel an activity? I feel I feel it hits me. Um so my brain starts working but I never ah. feel uncomfortable. If you didn't eat, what what happened with you? If I did what? If you uh, won't eat these pills with caffeine, what happened with you? Um I'll just be sleepy. My brain's not going to work, but mm. you know, nothing terrible. So I, I wouldn't have headaches or something mm. like that. I and see. I feel like I'm really thankful to my body because it doesn't uh, form addictions easily. So I was smoking cigarettes mm. every single day. 
like oh. half a pack of cigarette when I was in jail. Yeah. And because in jail, it's something about social life. Because, you know, you get out, you smoke, and you talk to a person. And this is nice and cute, and you connect. Mm -hmm. So when I got out of jail, I was just like, well, I'm not actually, I'm not seeing myself as a smoker, so I didn't consume like anything like no no smoke. vapes nothing yeah i don't smoke and i don't like coffee but i can stop to eat chips chips <laughs> yeah chips potato i love chips? Cheap potato chips yes uh, i know a lot of people like more sugar chocolate like some sweets i prefer so chips person. yep yep do you like sweet stuff are you not that much into dessert uh, i can eat some cakes like in the restaurant some delicious but like chocolate no I really miss Medavik. Medavik, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I do know a place where you can go. Um, yeah. Um, I thought you said Burger King. No, we're talking about Medavik. It's a honey cake. Um, they, they make it in Russia. It's really okay. fucking good. Maybe you can Maybe I can cook one. Too. Oh. I like know how to cook it. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I see. Well, if I, if, if I find a good podcast or an audiobook, I can cook. I mean, I can cook, do anything. Um, I mean, I don't know, make art, mm. make crafts, like do anything do with you my like hands. Cooking? But um, I, I need to find a good book. <laughs> I, I used to. I used to cook all the time, but um, people would just like get fucking mad at me because I, like, I, I, uh, I, I you, would you cook on stream. To, you need to spend a lot of time for cooking. Yeah. Yes. Do you like cooking? No. No. I got it down to a science, I basically. I like eat. I like eat. <laughs> no, not, not cook. You don't like it's cooking? Not, you like eating? Mm, yeah. Like oh, it's going to be the food's going to be I here can eat meat, but I can touch the meat. I can cook the meat, but I can I can eat. Yeah. Why <laughs> can't you touch it? Uh, like it's a dye. Because yeah, it, yep. it, is, it is a corpse. Yeah, I can't. No. I have no problem with that. I fucking, I will touch the corpse. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, I, I used to cook all the time, but... What happened after streams? <laughs> you can stream and cook. Yeah, I used to do that, but really? I would, I would like, throw up something. I would mm. throw up, like, a, a video or something and then go cook. Mm. And, um, and then uh, people literally were so mad. Like, there were random people that weren't even related to the stream at all, that had never watched the stream. Mm. They were like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you're not on stream. Like, how dare you? Yeah, um, I can cook a pasta. It's very easy, and that's all. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can cook anything. Like once you, the, the, if um, you follow the recipe, like most of the time, it, it really turns out nicely. But mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I I like when people cook for me. I don't like to cook that much. But uh, but also like if it's easy, I don't mind it. Yeah. If you just throw something on the pan, just fine by me. Yeah. I what is your favorite food here in the States? I can find something nice. Maybe I need the time and you can recommend something for me. My favorite food in the States? Um, oh my god. I love I, I I'm I'm gluttonous. I love American food. Like burgers. Hamburgers, yeah. No, I'm oof, pizza. Oh. I mean most of this shit's not even American. There's like no it's not like actually American, but barbecue, mm, barbecue brisket. Yes, is good. Yeah. But, but you can find a good place where this cooking is good. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Eva was so uh, mm. mean at this place. Like, so, so we brought her to a place which was like, oh, this is like owned by our friends. And it's like, the food, the food is nice here. And she was like, I don't know, this pasta tastes like instant ramen to me. Yeah. And like, this is an e e European right here. <laughs> it was very salty. Where'd you guys go? Uh, I don't you remember. Know. But yeah, I mean, look, I, oh my God, we're so hungry. It's obvious that we're so fucking hungry because we're like literally, yeah, it's true. we're literally only talking about food right now, but, um, we did try to talk about nuclear weapons, but it didn't yeah, work no, then. we just like, we got sidetracked. Oh God, the food's going to be here soon. But I'll just say, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, this is Los Angeles. There's a lot of incredible restaurants here. It's just great. Um, depending on what you want to eat, uh, really good burgers, I guess like even, chain it's like a kind of a chain but umami has some pretty decent burgers there's I a like place umami. called father's office mm -hmm. which is uh like a classic la spot it's almost like a touristy spot but it's a it's actually a bar mm -hmm. but um but they they sell this uh this awesome they sell this awesome burger there um this mexican food is awesome here yeah mexican food is dank it's yeah. so good no matter where you go most places you go to mexican food is gonna be awesome um 
One of the places I like for Mexican food is Sonia Rita's. Uh, that's definitely a recommendation mm-hmm. for me for that. Um, I love fried chicken. Fried chicken? Major, major fan of fried chicken. Do you like fried chicken? Like KFC? Kind of, like tenders, chicken tenders. Have you ever had chicken yeah, tendies? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. So I love Why chicken not? tenders. Dave's Hot Chicken is really good. Uh, that's another chain, but it's really, really fucking good. I like su- sweet greens. It's a big, big salad yeah. with uh, fish or chicken. I eat, I eat sweet greens every day, pretty much. Like yeah. that's what that's how I manage my my calories, uh, mm-hmm. for the most part. Is what I, uh, you know, sweet lives in LA, eats nice. chipotle, only eats chipotle. Yeah, shut the fuck up. I'm I don't know what the fucking random Mexican food restaurant calories are. So I eat chipotle every day out of uh, because I can manage the calories in a chipotle salad. I know exactly what it is. I get the same thing every day. It's a 895 calorie meal that I have, mm-hmm. uh, and and uh, I have it with like uh, protein chips on the side. Yeah, I can stop to eat rice. I can eat rice every day after Asia because Asia everywhere is rice, fried rice with chicken and fried I rice, rice with eggs with vegetables and uh, fish with rice like sushi everywhere. Yes. Yeah. I like sashimi. <laughs> yeah. I don't eat any sushi. I don't eat seafood. No. No. Why? I just don't eat seafood. No, I, I throw up. I throw it up. I can't. I can't. I don't even like seaweed. Like the taste of sea is like nasty to me. I don't know how to describe it. Mm. It's mm. fucked up. I know. I, I'm like jealous of it. Like I wish I could have seafood, but because like sometimes we'll go, we'll go to a restaurant. I've had like, I've had some caviar uh, mm. on top of shit before. Yep. And it just tastes like salt. That's the only thing that I've been able to consume that isn't like uh, completely uh, it's just like impossible for me to consume. Um, but even then, it's like I'm, I will never look for it. You know what I mean? And everybody always says like salmon, bro, salmon, bro. It's not it's not fishy, but it fucking is. Also, our food is here. Uh, hold on. Watch what you're showing on, on camera. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, our food is here. So I'm going to go yeah, grab it real quick. Oh, my God. Sorry. Ooh, I'm starving. Advice to everyone who is on antidepressants, do not skip them. I'm second day in the round skipping my antidepressants and I'm starting to feel crazy. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Is it not good to drink alcohol? Please? It's fine. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. There's food here. <laughs> Take I'm taking antidepressants since 2015. For me. People are celebrating our food with us. Yeah. I'm so excited. You Thank you so much. I think I've never been so excited about food. It's like good well, I was in right now when we eat. I can't believe I was on 10 days hunger strike. Thanks. This is guacamole white rice fajitas. I think this is mine. Medium green, hot shit, no matter what it is. Okay. This one is mine. 10 days hunger strike, that's correct. Well, I, I was in three hunger strikes chicken, in my life. Right? Did you get chicken? I no. got chicken. Yeah, okay. This one is yours. Thank okay. you. And then this one is mine. And we got a little bit of napkins here too if you want. Cheers, to motherfuckers. Um, hold on. Oh my gosh, it's so fat with mayo. Okay. Mayo? Yeah. Yikes. Do you yeah, like it? Sour cream? Uh-uh. I love sour cream. I don't like mayo. Not yet, it's so cool. We talked about... Um, I have wine. I'm good. So you told me the craziest shit ever that uh, people in your family, I think somebody in your family mm-hmm. were eating mayo and yeah. watermelon and bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom is crazy. She loves uh, mayo. Everywhere in the soup, in the potatoes, with the pasta. Nope. No. And she always eat uh, watermelon with bread. Yep. This is incredible. Hassan, have you ever oh. tried uh, oh. watermelon with mayo and bread? Whoa. Without mayo. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Watermelon with mayo? <laughs> no, it was what bread. What the fuck? I hope that's ille- <laughs> that should be illegal. Watermelon and bread. 
In Turkey, we eat watermelon with uh, white cheese, though. Bayas painted, which is a uh, feta cheese. But, like, uh, better than feta cheese because uh, the, the Greek version, yeah. I guess, is, like, not as... Uh, it doesn't have as many fats in it, and it's not as, like, uh, salty. Mm -hmm. It's very bland. Mm -hmm. But the Turkish mm -hmm. feta cheese is actually very salty mm. and not very bland and, and uh, definitely, like more uh it has more fats in it right and we in turkey will eat uh watermelon with uh, feta cheese mm. that's pretty good didn't know about that i don't like mixing salty and sweet stuff at all so like whenever they add apple and it's in mm. salad mm. i hate that you don't like apple and salad no i don't I like fuck to with apple and sweet. salad mm. Oh, you want mix sweet with savory? Uh uh. That's I like crazy. it meat like in Ikea. You know? The meatballs? Cranberries with meatballs. Oh, you like it? Yep. It's so nice. I don't know, it's uh, English, it's gushonka. No. Um, milk with fucking sugar. Con condensed milk. Oh, condensed milk. Mm. Oh, I love condensed milk. Mm. It's, that shit is so bomb. <laughs> I love condensed milk. Well, no condensed milk for me. Condensed milk with, that, the, but with the salami. <laughs> what? So nice. Yes. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> with salami? Okay. Okay. You can try it. <laughs> That's fucking psychotic. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. <laughs> okay. I was going to dunk that? on Nadia. I was going to make fun of Nadia for not mixing sweet and savory, which is crazy. You should be able to do that. But y what you're saying is insane. <laughs> <Mom>. <laughs> What you're saying should be illegal, but you could. Like Maya is a mistake. I agree with you. It is a mistake. You know what you would like though, probably if you like sweet and savory to that degree, you would like to maybe dunk uh, a French fry in a milkshake. Mm. That's like a very American thing. That oh, they do I love here. that thing. I saw girls like uh, she eat uh, fried fries and uh, put the fried fries in the cappuccino, and it's enough. To okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I fuck with milkshake and fries. I didn't know it is now, but I, I really loved it when I was a kid. Mm. Yeah, people do that at Wendy's. You get a, like a, a, I think it's called like a softy or something. Or a frosty. I don't fucking know. And I then was you really shocked about chicken and waffles. I think mm. like, oh, I, that's I, good too. I was so shocked by the concept. Cause with ham and cheese, waffle is good. Why not? But they pour caramel or like in sweet syrup. sauce syrup, mm. syrup, syrup on waffles and a fried chicken with it mm. i'm like wait i mean you can, you can eat chicken first and then consume that as a dessert but combining them together mm. adeka <laughs> yeah what's it called a softy or a frosty what is it called why the fuck adeka. are all you dumbasses uh, making fun of me i don't know what it's called i i, I you know, like Anyway, all right, while we're eating, let's watch this. This is Russia, the possibility of Russia using nuclear weapons. Way before we invent something that is capable of the type of intelligence you're talking about. I think you're right. And so the you opportunities use that to blow and the opportunities up? to destroy ourselves are going to be so multiple because the world is getting so much more complicated all the time. Yeah. Right. The number of things that can go wrong this is much bigger than in the past. Right, five thousand years ago, there was no technology that could have destroyed. Is it possible to turn off subs. You want to turn off subtitles? Yeah, yeah. Turn or turn on. Turn. turn on. Turn on. Why? Because for me, it's difficult to understand. It's easier for you to understand without subtitles. Yep, I can read and I understand. No, oh, you she, want she me to wants, turn it on? on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, mm -hmm. no. I'm the same way. That's why I was like, "What the fuck? You want mm -hmm. it off?" <laughs> no. On. Yeah. Uh, who is this fucking guy? Francis Foster and Constantine Kissin of Trigonometry. I don't know what these guys are, but the planet. Now there is, right? Right. And that is going to continue. The, our ability to destroy the planet is only going to get greater. It's going to take a smaller mistake to destroy the planet as technology gets more sophisticated. So you feel it's just human nature that if we have control of artificial intelligence, the first thing it's going to do is devise weapons of insane No, no, no. We are going to devise the weapons using artificial intelligence before there is any overarching artificial intelligence that could take care of us. 
Do you see what I'm saying? So you're, you're saying the kind of artificial intelligence that's already available, not like general artificial intelligence, which is what they think of as like a sentient being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean like stuff yeah. that we can do to mo like YouTube I algorithms what or so whatever. I don't think we disagree. So you're yeah. saying that this artificial intelligence that's in place right now that they already use for a lot of things yes. is going to be used and make weapons and it's going to be... We too the irony is that... They're talking about the YouTube algo as a as machine learning technology or AI, mm -hmm. and that is quite literally. This is correct. The reason why they're fucking famous, like these guys, pump out a lot of like right wing material on YouTube, mm -hmm. yeah. and that right wing material or or like all the extremist guests that Joe Rogan has had throughout the years is unironically reason why he's fucking famous because of that YouTube algo. So they're self aware. Uh, Joe Rogan's there. Um Often to speak about mushrooms, right? Yeah, he yeah. used to. That was when he was at his chillest. <laughs> when he would talk about fucking mushrooms and shit. <laughs> yeah. And not about uh, you know, white supremacy. We're gonna, overwhelming. Use we're gonna use them and we're gonna use them on each other, we're gonna blow each yeah. other up. Yes. I prefer and him if we when he don't, talks about aliens and artificial friends. general intelligence is what I'm talking about. Oh, if we artificial don't destroy ourselves, I'm, yeah, I'm just convinced we are, that's all. We may I'm you're right. God. We've Drop bomb. When I'm I mean, when, whenever talks people, about any hear people talking about destroying ourselves, I prefer to watch Nam Chomsky. But it at talks about anything that, that anyone's yeah, done anywhere in the world. When they talk about horrific things, I always say, dude, Hiroshima so and Nagasaki, mm. were, that is Could insane. Yeah. That was yeah. a was completely yeah. untargeted yeah. city mm. Mm. in the sense that like, they, there's not like there's an army there and they're shooting at us and we're shooting. No, they just nuked cities. The, the kind of death and destruction that must have happened on those days to be a person who's an innocent person living on this regime in this city mm. and know that the consequences for something that you've done nothing mm. to, all you've done yeah. is live your life, yeah. all you've done is work in a market, all you've done is yeah. do whatever, the f you've been a farmer, and then you your entire world is obliterated mm. instantaneously Somebody. by an atom bomb Most for the, the first background. time in human history. And it's happened in your just, fucking um, city. Yeah. Well, you know what? In, in terms of the, the bombing, Hiroshima and Nagas. What? And they were talking if we have time to watch YouTube. I'm saying that I like to watch it on the background if I do something else. Yeah. Mm. But they really just, you know, sit and watch. Mm -hmm. But I do like that they're... No, I can't increase their mics. Their mics are maxed out right now. Okay? I'm sorry. Um, this is what you're going to get. It's, it's not going to be your favorite. It's not going to be the, the, the type of content that you're used to. This is it. Okay? Stop, please stop crying in the chat, please. <laughs> I, I beg. It's like my job unironically is like being a babysitter to 30,000 children. Some of these people are unironically fucking adults. Like they have like full blown adults with wives and children. But when they get into the chat, they literally turn into a bunch of babies. Yeah. They sound and it's like babies. Wild. Um, but what's the thing? So normally people who come to your um, podcast, they talk more out loud. No, it's not that. It's that the, the microphones have a limitation and mm -hmm. <clears throat> we're currently at its max. Mm -hmm. It's just, th but also this is the reason why I'm not uh, reading the, the chat when I have guests on. Gasaki weren't really that big a deal. The in audio is loud on the, the, uh, on the comparison YouTube to the video, that's why they're In comparison freaking to what out. the Germans were doing in the Soviet Union. I understand, right? but there's a thing about the instantaneous yes. nature yeah. yes. of those bombs that was uniquely terrifying, yes. which is why we haven't used Also, Joe yes. Rogan is right. Agreed. Do you have about a fear nuking that Putin Japan. He's, he's correct on that. A nuclear weapon? Good. Yes. Uh, so when I was on Question Time, uh, that program of Francis, they asked me this question. And they said, if pushed, Maybe. would he use them? Now, my understanding of the word pushed is if he feels that his life is in danger. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what I mean by pushed. Right. I think in that situation, he would, he would use them. However, that does not mean that they would end up being used. He may press the button, but the signal might not get to the destination. You see what I'm saying? Yes. There is a team of, it's not just a, a button that releases nuclear weapons, there's a bunch of people in between. Right. Right? And if some of those people think... This is a classic, this was a classic argument during the Cold War where they would say, unironically, like, oh, even if fucking the yeah. USSR uh -huh. um, was, was interested in, like, uh, nuking America, maybe there were people that would stop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just cope. It's literally copium. Especially considering that um, 
Especially that did happen once during the Cold War. It happened once, but that there is no guarantee that it will happen again, especially considering that America has literally engaged in using a nuclear weapon, an atomic bomb in Japan. Watch Dr. Strangelove. That they have a chance of survival. That this is a personal thing against the leader. What's their, what is their rational, what is their rationale for press? America had no problem dropping the atom bomb. And America has also accidentally fucking misplaced nukes too. Not only that. So using that as a final like uh, reliability or a final measure and, and um, you know, nuclear saber rattling specifically because like, oh, they just won't do it is fucking insane. Um, that's not how you can, you know, cut policy. I do not trust people who use this type that of curtain. Down the line. How t <laughs> yeah, uh, he's because got a the answer is death. Few people. Yeah. But the answer is death, right? If you're yeah. in that situation, you, your family, your kids is going to burn to ashes I or think the only person die in a radioactive waste. Curtain yes. is David Lynch. So why would you push that button that. if you felt there was any chance of survival at all? That is one of the biggest fucking sources of anxiety for people, is the idea that we're living in this conflict that we have zero control over that might lead to a global thermonuclear war. Yeah. At any moment in time, the wrong buttons might get pressed and the wrong people might get mad or the wrong p military decisions might be get mm -hmm. made and mm -hmm. someone just tries to fucking do something wild. And what, we didn't really think that that was a, a possibility until this Ukraine invasion. Yeah. I think the Ukraine invasion opened up a lot of people's eyes because there's so many, many people from Ukraine that have relatives in Russia and vice versa. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's not like you're... You, what? what was your question? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, what was your I, question? Can you repeat it? Mm, I asked her, Ben, she was in the Russian field. She like her safety in this country or no? Did you feel safe no. in Russia? I don't know. I mean, well, I, I I was attacked multiple times. I was thrown chemical liquid in my face and I was whipped. Um, so, no, I, I, I did not. And I, I developed actually... <laughs> um, I, I do not like to think about um, risks uh, for my life all the time because like, otherwise you go insane. But I started to notice even um, if I'm in a subway... And somebody approaches me, mm -hmm. I yep. just jump. Yep. I didn't feel too, because porn is illegal in Russia, and uh, you're doing something not normal, like. But uh, I don't like a police in Russia. Like you feel not comfortable when you see the police guy, and I you hate want them. you want to run, <laughs> mm -hmm. but it's a. Uh, you don't have any legal with you. You don't do something wrong, but exactly. you, you feel afraid. I don't know why. It's only in Russia feeling like this. He is okay. I generally do not like police, uh, but yeah, Russian police is really special. I remember when I was a kid, um, my dad would always cross the street that we have policemen approaching towards mm -hmm. us. And we did not do anything illegal, like nothing. But he would always cross the street he, and he go to the opposite side. He can do it all. Uh -huh. all. What? This guy uh -huh. said police are good here. Yeah, totally. Totally, man. Uh, I don't know where you're at, but if you're talking about America, you're also completely wrong. This is why people say ACAB is a universal concept. Policing as an institution is, is flawed. Because whether you're in Russia or you're in the United States of America, cops are enforcing the laws that were created by people that don't have your best interest in mind 90% of the fucking time. Mm. Oh, they were being sarcastic. Oh, okay. 13, 12. In, in Ukraine, it's difficult too because it's illegal porn too. And uh, my friends, uh, I have a lot of friends from Ukraine. Uh, and they are porn actress and uh, policemen went to their house and uh, said that we know what you're doing. Give me money, or give me your money. Me, it's not a normal. Yeah, it's so fucking crazy. And they did it, 
and it's not a normal and the policeman went to every every year to them and uh, give them money every every it's so they, um, they no, them. no not give like um, proceed proceed деньги Because they ask for money, they, yeah. they basically ask yeah. for a bribe, yeah. 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 But, uh, so it's illegal to uh, produce porn. Распространять. Uh, Распространять, yeah. The, the, I don't know, disperse, disseminate, the disperse porn. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when that law was about to be signed in Ukraine, I had a friend, um, and he made an action in front of Rada, which is Parliament of Ukraine, mm -hmm. and He um, he faked his staged public sex act in front of Ukrainian parliament. He was arrested for that. He spent in jail like six months. He was released after, but it was a big case. Mm -hmm. I think like, to me it's insanity that porn can be illegal somewhere. It is wild. Especially because like we know everybody, like a lot of people watch it. You know, Not every single person, but like most people fucking watch porn. They consume... They consume sex work in one uh, way, shape, or form. Um, civil asset forfeiture, they don't got to ask here. Uh, yeah, I mean, cops do this in America as well, but I say this all the time. In, in America, we like, to ori we like to orientalize other countries. And we say, oh, you that's do. bribery, that's, that's barbaric, right? <laughs> we say, oh, that's bribery, that's barbaric. We don't have that here. That's corruption. Um, mm -hmm. well Except we codify our... We, we make it legal to do bribery. No, that, that's fucking insane what yeah. you do here. Corporate lobby. Lobbyism is, yeah. yikes, is big yikes. Um, I mean, and the same thing you just described with cops stealing money, like taking mm -hmm. money, it's called civil asset forfeiture. Mm -hmm. So they are legally allowed to do the things that you are uh, referencing. So when it's legal, all of a sudden, it's just not as barbaric. It's not, it's not outside of the legal system. But so one may... Uh, We'll make consider that to be even worse than fucking it being uh, outside of uh, uh, the legal boundaries. Just like we only, yeah, just like we only call it an oligarchy if it happens in Russia, but if it's in America, when you have the Koch brothers, when you have the Walton family, when you have all of our fucking wealthy oligarchs here in the United States, that's not oligarchy. Those are just billionaires. I was invited to um, a libertarian conference once, uh, organized and paid by Koch brothers. Koch brothers. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, so I took half, like 50% of the money up front, and I used those money to fund... Uh, a my independent media outlet they have in Russia is called Media Zana. And um, so I came on stage. Um, it was, I think it was in Washington. And I, uh, it was, it was 2016 when Bernie Sanders was still running for, uh, pre uh, running. He, wa he wanted to be a candidate, right? So I came to his office and I took a t shirt and uh, took their blessing. I was like, do you think it's going to be funny if I, I appear at a libertarian conference in this shirt? And they were like, yeah, fuck yes. And I came to the conference. Um, they were so mad. They, uh, I, I came f first in a jacket, and then I um, unbuttoned it. And then I, they asked me, you can talk about freedom as much as you want. You can talk about liberties, but please do not talk about economy. And the only thing I talked about was um, financial inequality in healthcare. Those people who invited me to that conference uh. were so mad. So mm. I obviously did not get my second half of the money, but I got my 10K from Koch Brothers. I love how libertarians who love talking about free speech were trying to limit your speech around like what That's you can so say. cute. Yeah, they were like, do not talk about economy. I was just like, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, how surprising. But yeah, I want to. I want to see the possibility of Russia using uh, nuclear weapons. Let's see. You you might be at war with your own people, like yeah. people that you are literally related to. Yeah, yeah. Like that's what's crazy. I have family on both sides. It's wild. Yeah. the uh, The idea is wild, mm -hmm. and the idea that the the country has such extraordinary control yeah, over the narrative of what the people know about and hear about. Mm. It is well, eighty percent of <laughs> Russians get their news from TV, and yeah. the the message is We're very planning consistent to escape. and very clear. Um, We're about to. What? We're planning the escape. So, yeah. Oh, you guys want to leave? You don't have to stay here. Uh, I mean, not like right now, but <laughs> you can leave whenever. Um, no. uh, it's, it's no problem. Um, I just I wanted to make sure you guys got food though, because I know you were starving. So it was, was I. great. No, I feel so much better. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mm. Um, no, let's stay for a while. I mean, I I enjoyed it. 
we just want to make sure that we go see our friends as well. <laughs> stop watching, stop forcing girls to watch Joe Rogan and listen to my life advice. <laughs> yeah, man. Please give me it more. It is, it is difficult to listen to Joe Rogan. I, I had several attempts to listen to his podcast, but uh, I struggle every time. I just did not find him fascinating or interesting or even well, this that is a, smart, to be honest. This is a, this is a meta like it, it, this in this community is that uh, I have girls on and then I make them watch Joe Rogan. No, well, it's, it's, it's a continue. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tradition. To be attacked. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, NATO is about to destroy us. Uh, Ukraine's full of Nazis and all of this stuff. Uh, completely baseless. But that if you feed people that line long enough, that's what they're going to believe. How do you think this plays out? Uh, I think anyone who attempts to predict this is bullshitting, man. No, you can't predict things like this. Right now, the situation is Russia is inching forward. Uh, both sides are losing a lot. Uh, I think what uh, the, the Russian strategy is to, uh, to wait until oh winter. God. That's yeah. what I'm being told. To hold out until winter. And by <laughs> winter, they think they can persuade the Germans to essentially sabotage the Western efforts to stop them. I think that's their plan. How that goes, uh, how do we know? We can't predict that. Um, and in the meantime, it also depends on what's happening on the ground, right? It depends on what Russia is going to do. It depends on what uh, the Western powers do in terms of providing weapons and ammunition and all of that. Uh, so we've got no idea <sighs> at all. It's so wild. And when you hear the government bragging about how much money they're sending over to Ukraine to help fight the Russians, it's like, Maybe you should shut the fuck up about that. <laughs> Maybe that one you might want to keep under your hat. Uh, yeah, oh, you mean in terms of talking about a public? As I've said before, um, just because this is something that is uh, a positive for Ukrainians, like sending weapons into Ukraine, does not necessarily change the reality that... Wait, why are you guys saying XQC? Um, isn't this girl like rank two or some shit? What's rank two? What does that mean? Um, it does not change the reality that it is a massive, massive fucking contract for rank two on Pornhub. Wait, really? Are you rank two on Pornhub? Yep. What does that mean? Rank two. Right oh, now? you're number two on Pornhub? Uh, I was three, but right now it's four. Oh, you fell you so. fell off? X you see you're wrong. Maybe it's two today. I don't know because yesterday. Oh yeah, well you're I, on I, here, I, you might they your Google search I mean let's yeah, take a look I, here. I, I have not on Pornhub. video on Pornhub, guys. You can No no no, no, no we can't we're not saying that. That's not we're not promoting that, obviously. <laughs> okay. uh, we're just okay. looking at we're just looking at the trends uh, of of Eva Elfie on uh, in the world. <laughs> okay, we're not we are not doing that. No, yeah, no, it hasn't. In the past 12 months, you popped off at this point, uh, mm -hmm. August 29th. August, August. <clears throat> I don't know what happened yeah. then, but, uh, you know. But as far as, like, uh, the past uh, 90 days, no, you haven't, you haven't, like, you, you were on a downtrend, but today you're, there, mm -hmm. you're on an upswing again. Okay. Wait, what the fuck? I went uh, to the wrong... Okay, yeah, see? Um, July 21st is when you, like, started... Uh, mm -hmm. You're rank three for the year. That's what they're saying. Yeah. A long time I was three. Rank three. It, like, uh, not amateur. You know, it's your... Pornhub has uh, uh, amateur models and porn star models. I'm a porn star model, not amateur. Uh -huh. Yes, and uh, on the first, uh, it's a Lana Road. Second, it's a Riley Reed or sometimes a Ballad Danger. Colleague. And I'm three, it's me. And me, I'm Alka, it's four. Have you had sex with those people? Mm -hmm. Have you done videos with them? With who? Lana Rhodes or Riley Reed? We have the uh, stream together. But not in uh, production. We didn't. We didn't work together. Uh huh. Um. Do you want to? Yeah, if I want. But Lana is uh, doesn't work in porn right now. She's like a blogger. Riley Reed is has a child. You know. She. Yeah, yeah. She had a child. Yeah. You want to leak who it's from? I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
Yeah, just tell us who it, who it's from, the, the child. XQC says, um, sorry, haven't checked in a while. I usually know my ranks. Sorry, I'm a man of culture. What can I say? I study my landscape to understand it better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is um, this is a good opportunity. Before you guys leave, I was going to do a, like, what's that Twitch chat, like, hot or not uh, competition? I wanted to do that. How does it part? I just wanted to show you Twitch streamers, oh, not yeah. Twitch chat, the Twitch streamers. What, what is it? Chat? Someone, one of you motherfuckers has that link. Give me the sauce. It's like smash or pass. Isn't that Misgif's thing? Yeah, no, that means uh, I'm not allowed to do it, except I did it before Misgif ever did with Janice, many, many years before Misgif even thought about doing it, so. Mm. Not the tier one, chat, not the tier one. I'm talking about, is it called Streamer World Cup? Is that what it is? I have food in my hair. I was so excited. <laughs> Top female streamers World Cup. Okay, that's not what we're doing. We're looking I'm for the male one. I'm not cultured, you guys. No, you just have to pick. Um, But hold on. Uh, 32 rounds, right? 32 rounds. Is that what it's called? Top male, <laughs> top male streamer World Cup. Uh, Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, there it is. Is this it? Okay, I, I just take by default. I, I think it, most. I did it on my YouTube channel. Like. Uh, oh, you did one of these. Yeah, I choose the best, but only Russian streamers and uh, music bands. Okay, well you're gonna. Well, we're just gonna have to go off of these photos, unfortunately, because I, I don't know I who these guys are. First, he's more. Syndicate. Sexy, I don't know. He's like uh, smart. I don't know why. Okay, boom. Number one. Okay. Toast. On the left, this guy's toast. He, he's kind. <laughs> like he's an intelligent a little bit. Do you know? Do you know him at all or? No. Oh, you're Ooh. just saying that you're just going off vibes. <laughs> okay. I like to fuck kind people here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Chilled Chaos versus Anthony Kong Fan. Who are these streamers? I don't know who these people are, but anyway, all right, let's continue. Know, who? Anthony? Anthony. I yeah, think Anthony. Anthony. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh. Smash or pass? Kraken or fucker. Faker? Like, fucker. Fucker. <laughs> yeah. I agree, fucker. <laughs> fucker. <laughs> okay, Faker. Boom. Faker, boom. Stone Mountain 64, Castro 1021. I vote mm. for Castro. Okay. He's got fire coming out of yeah. him. All right, Castro ten twenty one. Okay, dog dog versus Canute. Now this is a this is a good one. This is one of the first ones where I like know the person. You because know what I mean? Because he is dog. Oh, yeah. you're choosing dog dog. Yes. I are you are you dog. sure? Because uh-huh. Canute. I prefer dog. I mean, I'm choose dog. <laughs> you don't like you don't like the 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 type of uh, like the physique of of this man. He is the lion of Norway. No. This is how he speaks sometimes. I prefer cute boys with dog. Okay. He is <laughs> doing Camp Knut right <laughs> now in Texas. <laughs> I'm sorry, Knut. You might have lost this one to the dog. Do you want to choose him? Yep. Okay. I would choose Knut every time. Okay. Imagine how Knut is. Uh, he's so sad. He tries so hard to be sexy and... No, I, I think he, uh, no, he... When you get to that level, my, my opinion on that is like... When you get to that level, when you're like a muscle boy like that, I think you're doing it for yourself and for other men more than you're doing. Like, you're not doing that for women at that point. Mm-hmm. Men, I think. Interesting take. Yeah, I, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that he cares. Like, I don't think that's like aesthetically he's trying to be pleasing to women. I think it's more like that is what he loves. And I respect him for that, for the mm-hmm. record. I, mm-hmm. I, I do. I love that. Like, I always, uh, you know, I, I think that is I admire the amount of dedication it takes to be able to build your body like that. Okay. Galm versus Jeremy Dooley. Jeremy. You got. This is a difficult one. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I'm Jeremy, I guess. But... Sorry, Galm. It's Jeremy Dooley time. Okay. I'm a cutie pie on the left and shorty <laughs> guy on the right. That's bald representation. That's bald love right there, shorty folks. Shorty guy. Shorty guy. Yep. Okay, shorty guy. Giant Waffle versus Ninja. Do you know who Ninja is? I'm sure you've seen Ninja before. 
Me up by Ninja. Ninja? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'll take him. Um. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> Versus Austin show. I don't know who this Raj Patel guy is. Uh, okay. Well, you know, I'll, I'll take the dub on that. <laughs> yeah. Again, that this dog, it's always work. Shifter. Yep. Shifter yeah. versus Immortal HD. We take the dog guy. Yep. Okay, good. Uh, uh, interesting oh here to find out. Chat, now you know. Oh, J Schlap. What the fuck? He does not look like this anymore. Oh, my God. Uh, versus General Sam. How does he look now? J Schlat, this is what he looks like now. Let's see if I can find one that is not modified. It's probably going to be impossible to find one that's not mod. Oh, no, oh. most of them are on. Uh, are they're really not mod. It's one person. He looks really different. Yeah. That's I what he looks know. like. Uh, oh, cool. shit. He's American. He used to be. Um, what happens with guys? Like, why do they mostly look like fucking hell? They just don't know how to carry themselves. They no, I like think shit. he did this deliberately. Like, so it's like I, a I think really he doesn't care. It's a really difficult job to be a girl if you want to fuck a guy. It's like, they look like shit for the most part. Um. No, I, he he deliberately uh, did that himself. Okay, this is what he used again. to look like, yeah, and I think he like grew the the mutton chops. I, I respect that. <laughs> uh, what do you what are we thinking? J Schlap versus uh, General Sam. I don't know right now. It's better here. He's right. Yeah, let's. Well, that's a potential. Right you can get him yeah. to shave it. Let's say let's take J Slot and ask him to shave. I see. <laughs> okay, let's look up General Sam. I don't know who he is, unfortunately. I'm sure he's a wonderful person. Um, yeah. Let's take a look at General Sam. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty it. sure they're wonderful people, but they don't know how to. Do not know how to look. Well, fine. they're Twitch streamers, yeah. so that's you know, it's kind of. You know what, guys? Uh, it's not that difficult to. Comes with the territory. Sure. He's a Tarkov streamer. Oh, okay. He plays Escape from Tarkov, so he probably knows all the, all the, Russian words. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, this is an escape from Tarkov streamer General Sam versus you know Everyone Jay loves Hassan because Hassan looks fine. <laughs> is that that's the only reason? I thought it was because I offer political commentary and people like it, but I guess it's because I'm just curious. It's, it's a good addition, but oh, okay. thank you. Yeah. Um, okay. It's possible, it's strange to find to choose people like they looks like. That's all. <laughs> yep. Jay Schlatt is very tall, mm -hmm. also. He is very tall. He's like my height. All right, what are we thinking? I always think that I'm into tall guys, and then I choose not super tall people. I don't know. Um, I, had, um, I had a guy who was just like, I was able to like, carry him around in my hands, and then I, I wrote a song that's actually inspired by him. It's called Come Here, Fuck Your Sugar Mommy. <laughs> I was sugar mommy for four years. You were carrying him around? Uh, yeah. Short kings, rise up. You hear that? <laughs> you hear that? Nadia said short kings, rise up. She said short king uh, spring. Followed by short king summer. Okay, so which one? General Sam or Jay Schlatt? I don't know. What's the you Jay, Schlatt? Yeah. Jay Schlatt? Okay, Jay Schlatt. Okay, Jay Schlatt. Moving on. Ronnie Radke versus Orb. Ronnie Radke. Yeah, I'll take Ronnie. Damn, you guys like bad boys, I think. I don't know who these guys are, but it seems like he's a bad boy. Look at that tattoo. Like from anime. He does look like a like an anime guy. Yeah. He is a bad person. Wait, really? I don't fucking know. Why is this like... Vern Notice versus Frodan. Vern Notice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll draw the fuck Vern. Okay. Uh, oh my god, Fedmeister versus Masayoshi. <laughs> okay, this is... Getting awkward. Why the fuck is this? This list is fucking crazy. Like, yeah. this list sucks. Yeah, I, I don't really like them. Do you? Fed Mr. Masayoshi is the man. Uh, uh, this, is a, this is an outdated ass. Like, half of these motherfuckers are like... I mean, I don't know who half these dudes are. But the ones that I do know, some of them are canceled. You know what I mean? It's like... This is the more up-to-date one. Uh... With more up to date people on it, top male streamers Wilbur, Jay Schlatt, Hassan Abi. Whoa, 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 uh, 3.1 percent championships. I've lost out to Wilbur and Jay Schlatt this many times. What the <laughs> fuck is this? I'm disappointed. Okay, I'm disappointed too. This is bullshit. Okay, well, let's do this one. This one's uh shorter. On the left, you have Simply, he is a Nintendo boy, he plays Nintendo <laughs> games. On the right, you have Bruce Drop Him Off, yeah. aka Dio. I love Bruce. I'll take Bruce. 
bruises. Uh, yeah, bruises. Uh, <laughs> Ronnie Radke was falling in reverse and Carl turned into a conservative. Mm -hmm. Carl Jacobs on the left. On the right, you have Trainwreck TV. He is Carl. not going to appreciate that, but I mean, I, I would go with Carl too. Is it Carl's a cutie pie? Yep. Three Boom. Some with Carl. Uh, again. Once again, Knut versus Lakari. Lakari is a fan of uh, what is it called? Gotcha games and also fighting games and also hentai. Knut, on the other hand, is a fan of building his muscular physique all the way from Norway. Oh, I'll take Knut. Okay. I'll take him. Yeah, I, I appreciate people who build their body. I don't like. You don't like either? Yep. He's quitting gotcha games. Okay, well, probably not. All right. Knut has, gets the W on this one. On the left, you have Pokalols, the menace sensation. On the right, you have Will Neff, who you did a podcast with earlier. Um, which one would you choose, smash you? or pass? Will Neff. Uh, I hate his outfit, but um, <laughs> I'm hopefully not going to be looking at his outfit when I'm going to be fucking him, so I'll take Will Neff. God damn. Okay. Sorry, Pokalols. On the left, you have Grayson. Don't know who this person is, but on the <laughs> right, you have Disguised Toast. I like white heart hair. You like white hair? Yeah. Like but you have white hair. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Um, what about you? I'll follow her. I'll join her. I'll maybe. Okay, help. Grayson. Her ain't fucking them. Mm. Will make a little Grayson. I don't know anybody. I don't watch uh, <laughs> chat. I don't fucking <laughs> watch a lot of streams. You know this. Like you know, like half the thing is like I don't really know. On the left, you have S Fan TV, uh, Iran's most powerful soldier. On the right, you have Shroud, uh, America's sweetheart, uh, and and also uh, gaming wizard. Mm. We're taking Shroud. Grayson lives with S Fan. Oh damn, I didn't know that. You're choosing Shroud? Yeah. Uh, Shroud is Canadian, but America still uh, America still carries Shroud. America will, will rep Shroud all day, every day. Much like many of Canada's best offerings. Shut the fuck up, Canadians. Let's be real. You are America's hat. Any, oh any Canadian that pops off is not staying in fucking Canada. Okay? Shroud. Shroud wins. On the left, you have... The IRL streamer sensation, Jake and Bake Live, uh, who is known to be uh, prancing around the cities uh, all around Europe, in Japan, everywhere else, uh, cool. with a camera strapped to his chest. On the right, you have Asmongold, uh, the WoW community's legendary commentator who changed his career uh, trajectory recently to become a court reporter. Toast, Jake and... Jake yeah, and Bake Live. the first one, as long as he doesn't talk... Wait, why? Wait, wait. I don't know. It what seems if he's, like I don't he looks like a douche? He's not. He's actually a pretty sweet guy. He's me. They're both, I, I just they're don't both sweet do not guys. want him to talk. <laughs> okay. All right. That's misandry. It's alive and well. <laughs> Love this uh, shit. Okay. On the left, you have <laughs> Russell, previously known as Comedy Russell. Dropped the comedy, but, uh, you know, he was never really that funny to begin with. But on the left, you have Russell. Uh, he's also pretty good at gaming, surprisingly. That was I did not know that. Uh, and on the right, you have Rich W. Campbell, who is uh, famous for dating Mia Malkova and also being in music videos uh, from the worst progressive house music that you have ever heard from 2016. Rich? I'm a massive fan of Sailor Moon. <laughs> so, yeah, Rich. Okay, Rich W. Campbell, once again, grabbing another W with sex workers, surprisingly, un unsurprisingly. So this is a hot tip for you guys. Just wear anime shirts and you're going to get laid. Dude, that is the worst advice <laughs> you could give to people tea. who are already wearing anime shirts yeah. as they're watching. <laughs> Good for them. Okay, on so the left you have on Aiden the right Ross. could benefit from an anime t-shirt and then I totally fuck him. Okay, on the left you have Aiden Ross, who is the, the W streamer himself, uh, big crypto gambler. Uh, you know, uh, uh, he, he's just a W streamer. I don't know how else to describe it. On the right you have Nim, who is the opposite of a W streamer, but not an L streamer, but instead, uh, he, oh, Aiden Ross also is a big rider. When he's not busy uh, doing e dates or shilling cryptocurrency scams, Thank uh, you so much. <laughs> shilling cryptocurrency gambling, he, he is busy he riding Andrew Tate's it's dick. Not, you know, like uh, 
shop on TV and we can choose what we can <laughs> buy. Yeah, no, we're doing like two TV TV guy, yeah. 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 <laughs> on the right, you have Nim, who also rides dick, but only four sins. I like second. Okay, Nim. Nim takes mm -hmm. the... I mean, he's hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. On the left, you have uh, standing tall at 6 foot 11. England's very own Zoil. And on the right, you have Dollar Store Hassan before he started working out. And now I'm uh, not feeling too great about him getting jacked. Seer. Mm. I don't know. <sighs> Texture. So like very kind, looks very kind and he is, he's like a teddy funny. bear. He's also gigantic. Wait, hold on. Chat. Chat. So Send me the clip. Send me the clip real quick of Sir, me meeting Zoil for the first time. I Sir recently reminds me of um of Dorian Electra's partner and it makes him familiar. Look at this, look That's at this, look at this, look at this. For a second? Oh my gosh. Up, you guys know how no. large I am, oh right? You've been next to me. <laughs> now look at how large oh, he is. Not as much as I like. Uh, All right, then on the fans oh content, I, I'm like looking forward to you back. guys on the fans oh. content. This, I look at with Uncle Mark. You both are going to be wearing bear costumes. <laughs> look at how big he is. All right, so that's what we got. He is like six twelve. Okay, he, he makes me look tiny. Um. <laughs> So yeah, which one do you choose? Choose Zoyle? carefully, Zoil. Yep. Okay, Zoil takes cake. Sorry, Seer. <laughs> only, only uh, moms for you. Well, Nadia's a mom, but all right. On the left, you have the uh, the the uh, Polish sensation, mm -hmm. uh, massive head, gigantic head, <laughs> opposite of mine, Rafflegator. He's also mm -hmm. very tall. On the right, you have a Greek, uh, a Greek, a, a banned misogynistic streamer uh, who changed his life, we thought, for the better, but then actually uh, didn't really change his life for the better, really. Um, oh, How he's an anti vaxxer he... as well. Oh, yikes. Whoever made this list wanted have more. I'll go with the first one. I just, you know, I, I hate what you described. Yeah. All right. Raffle Gator. Well, he's banned anyway, so I can't really uh, click on him. Uh, just kidding. That's not how this works. All right. On the left, you have up with them. What internet are sensation. They so ugly? <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Ugly? Watch what you say about I Jerma. Okay. People will I come did. after you. He has a, a diehard, passionate fan base. Jerma is uh, notable for his green screen me into everything series. Uh, he also once did a real life dollhouse like The Sims. He's incredibly creative. Brilliant content creator. Um, Jerm is also <clears throat> famous for playing uh, multiverses with me, Hassan Abi. Um, but yeah, no, Jerma is here. I'll, hold on. I'll show you another photo. Uh, and then on the right, you have... Maybe he has bed lighting here. On the right, no, Jerma always has bad lighting. On the right, you have... Look, he, all of his fucking photos are... He's a very attractive dude, but like all of his photos okay, look like this for it. some so reason. Because he, he, he's very sus. This is fine. He's okay. very sus. Okay. Okay. On the right, you have Rated. Summit 1G, famous for uh, using a molly on himself while playing CSGO. He's a, you know, uh, he's an old school broadcaster. Hmm. Um, yeah, that's it. That's like, that's, I don't know how else to describe Summit 1G. He's, he's great at video games. He, he drives around, uh, on Grand Theft Auto, no pixel servers. Um, yeah. German is a short king. Wait, really? I think we'll take the first one, right? Yeah. Yeah. First. Summit built this website. Yeah, he did. He's, he's a legend. He has the biggest head. He has a really big head. German with better lighting. lighting streamer awards. Oh, uh, yeah. This is what German looks like. Oh, he's fine. Wait, I've met Jerma. He's not fucking short. He's not that... No, he's not. I don't remember he him being short like at all. Actor. Why are you guys saying... Like, he's like actor. Okay, he does yeah, look very idea. short. <laughs> he does look short here. Never mind. Maybe he was short. I mean, he's taller than Seer. Oh, no, he's not taller than Seer. He's the same height or a little bit shorter than Seer. Okay. They hate okay. this. Do you guys hate this? Okay, we're choosing Jerma. Mm -hmm. On the left, you have a, the I Am Not Your Friend legend Ludwig. 
Okay? Now choose carefully on this one. This man right here, I mean, this man's a menace. What can I say about this man? I mean, let's say this past Friday, we had an opportunity to raise funds for abortion, which we did. And by we, I mean not me and Ludwig because Ludwig decided to not show up because he wanted to stream on his own, hating on abortion charities, saying, I don't want women to have bodily autonomy. That's what Ludwig is mostly known for, primarily. On the right, you have NMP Lol, who created his own Marxist ideology, Marxist polemism, uh, an ideology in which everyone gets a house and a Tesla, and also... If you are a criminal, even in that even in that universe where everyone has a house and Tesla and all their needs accounted for, then you get thrown into the grinder. Uh, a brutal process, some might say, is antiquated, but a brutal process in which uh, he uh, you you die in a, in a grinder if you commit crimes in that in that society. Why does he want that? I'm just kidding about Ludwig uh, with the bodily autonomy thing. God damn it, I can't I can't do that to him. He's a wonderful guy. They're both great. Okay, fine. Um. I'll choose, I'll choose the second one. Uh, but talking about um, people, raising money for reproductive rights, I really love the watermelon. Hmm. Everybody Smashing what? Smashing the watermelon. Oh, you, uh-huh. are you talking about me? Yeah, I'm talking watermelon? about you. That was great, yeah. Oh, that was, yeah, that was like last, that was like a month ago. Uh, yeah. NMP Law also loves feet. I don't know if that changes your dynamic or, at all or not. Uh, I like when people love feet. I have a beautiful feet. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. NMP Law. <laughs> Ding, ding, ding. On the left, you have another OG Twitch streamer, Soda Poppin, most famous for uh, 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 loving and dating uh, uh, VTubers uh, and also uh, having fake anime girlfriends. Um, I'm just kidding. Uh, but am I? Who knows? Uh, on the right, you have my little bro, uh, Ali Mythological, uh, the man who broke Fortnite personally soda did make among us though this man on the left made among us this man on the right broke fortnite because he was so good at building that like the game dramatically changed after he started releasing his uh techniques of building That's formerly good. formerly known as the architect or also formerly known as uh team solo mid mythological i love that Sounds it might cool. be my favorite yeah Okay. He also looks... I mean, this is the most, like, fuckboy photo I've ever seen of Myth. I know him. Yep. I know him. You know him? Jay Schlatt? You already uh, were... Booty, you already yes, met Jay right. Schlatt? On the left, you have uh, Miss Gift's roommate, Crazy Slick. I don't really know how else to promote Crazy Slick other than his name is Crazy Slick and he's Miss Gift's roommate. On the right, you have uh, another uh, partner of Miss Gift, mm. which you haven't even seen yet on this list. Jay Schlatt. I'll go with the first one just because he made some effort. He dyed his hair. Okay. The bar is in hell, ladies and gentlemen. The bar is so far down. It's just... We're Nadia tired. literally We're said tired. he made some effort he and dyed his hair. No, seriously, man. Just hey, think that they're a gift from this? fucking Are you guys God. bored of doing this? Yeah, pretty much. You are? Yeah. Because you don't know any of these guys? Is it boring? No, there's a like, guy stand by my word. Like most of them are just not attractive. And okay, but speaking of which, now you have two sexy men. On the left, you have Forsen. <laughs> On the right, you have Moist Critical. Help! 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 No? Help! Please. Help! We won't. We, Help. we don't have to continue this. We will stop right now. I don't like to choose a man. <laughs> what? I don't like to choose a man. It's we like when men choose us <laughs> <laughs> because we are objects. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Okay, we will stop doing this now. I did not realize that I did not realize that you guys were genuinely opposed to doing this. My bad. <laughs> we will be done with this Help. immediately. Okay, don't Help. say that. You understand? <laughs> now that you said that, they're going to go fucking bananas. I, I hope you realize that. Like they're going to go fucking crazy. So they don't have sense of humor, you say? <laughs> no, they don't. It's a leftist chat. Of course they don't have sense of humor. Mm. Um yeah, I see Hassan we- scaring more women. Like, but wait, like, didn't uh, cancel culture change from 2020? No. I think it developed not in he- No, it doesn't matter. These guys are incredibly fucking... Uh, there's a lot of people in here that, like, literally don't care and will behave. We love Hassan, okay? Okay. Um, and they think that they will save you over the internet. Okay, uh, we won't do that anymore. No joke. No uh, 
Can you mention that having women rape people is the worst? And I agree with her. Really? Why? Why did she say that? What is that? I think it's funny when it's people that don't know anybody. Hassan, why you act mm. to your guests? You expect them to know we're deranged? Yeah, no, that's why I'm trying to describe it. Okay. Um, by the way, you, like I said, you guys can leave whenever you want to. I, I don't want to. I don't want to keep you here if you're not interested, uh, or or if you guys uh, guys got somewhere to be. But um, can we finish the short Perry's video as a send off? Let's uh, finish by talking more maybe about porn industry because I'm curious. Okay. Um, so you did porn in Russia. Or no, you didn't do porn in Russia technically, right? Am I, I don't know. I do. I did. Okay. Um, I did. How many and it was, it was uh, complicated considering that it was uh, illegal. Yeah, I know. Um, what do you think about doing porn here in America? Um, you can do it too. It's not a problem because here is a, a lot of uh, production. It's uh, not uh, normal to work, but I can't work here. And uh, I, I, I won't do it. I know it. But I can do some photos, nudity for my OnlyFans and that's all. Mm -hmm. Why not? Yeah, but in, in Russia, you know, it's illegal, but... Uh, we have some production in Russia. It's not legal, but they do it. Okay. And in Europe, it's uh, legal. You can work in Europe. Wait, no. Wait, not. And uh, a lot of Ukraine and Russian girls work in Europe. Okay. Um, I don't know if you... I mean, I, I don't know what you're comfortable... Uh, I don't know what you're, you're comfortable talking about, but like... Uh, and you don't have to say... Uh, if you don't want to, but does your family, is your family comfortable with uh, you doing porn? Are they, are they supportive? They know. It's not a problem. Mm, My mom is a little bit strange person. Uh, we, we don't speak each other very, very often. Like, uh, she knows and uh, she told me, like, you have a money and that's all. You have a job. It's good. That's all. And... She is not interested in what I'm doing, like I'm doing, yeah. Okay. But yeah. it was like that before, mm -hmm. before he started to do porn. I already had I'm difficult I worked like a journalist on TV. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. That's crazy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I had a diploma. D diploma? Diploma f and from, I'm like journalist from Russia, yes. I ended to Moscow University. Zurfak? Yep. Arr. Do you choose Mohavoy? Mmm. Yep. All yeah, my no, life journalism is a terrible I, I degree. I want to be an actress <laughs> and I'm trying to uh, study in a uh, theater, like a uh, university theater, but uh, um, regisseur, regisseur, director. Our director yeah, said me that, oh, you look very young, but it was eight years ago. Yeah, <laughs> I look very young at right now. How old are you? 25. Oh, you're 25. Okay. Yeah. And it was really strange. But I came my actor. It's okay. <laughs> they said it is, it's a bad thing to look young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they basically told you they cannot be an actress because you look young? No. Not like this. Uh, he said that you need to <laughs> Oh my gosh, I know yeah. it's like mature. <laughs> you, need to, you, need to, you need to mature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. This is, you wild. Say that this is the like wildest shit I've heard. In America, <laughs> they, they. I feel like in America, it's better if you look younger because yeah. like you yeah. can play younger roles as an older yeah. person. Yeah. 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 So that's surprising. You can you can be in the uh, uh, next a four a n. <laughs> the next euphoria yeah mm -hmm. we talked about that on the podcast yeah, you can yeah. uh you can check out the podcast when it comes out tomorrow um okay i, I had experience to uh, be actress in one in the series in russia i played like myself like eva elfie yep it was interesting it's like very uh, professional production not like a porn <laughs> it, mm. with uh, a lot of art directors some managers and i know two guys for cameraman three guys cameraman it's very interesting yep I wanna try more. Mm, 
полицейский с Ютуба. Но он просто современный. Wait, can we find it? Police from YouTube on Russian. What is it called? Police from YouTube. Police? Police from YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's find like this. Oh God. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? Look at what I just googled and look what came up. I know. Andrew Tate on full send. Hasanabi, Eva Elfi, Nadia reacts. Hasanabi and Eva Elfi react to Andrew Tate. Y'all are fucking insane, dude. Mm. Like, the stream is not even over. We've been live for three <laughs> hours, and you motherfuckers cut this and made a video out of it, dude. Okay. What the fuck? They okay. love Andrew Tate. Is good that job, it? good job. <laughs> is this how you, how do you, how do you police from YouTube? No, not Eva Elf, because it's two season. it's not, uh, not ready. Yeah. Only, only, f only first season on the YouTube. Oh, so uh, the episode with you is not yeah. out yet? Yep, yep. Okay. Oh, so we can find no, it though. It's, it's not. It's not this. It's on. What is it? How do you how do you spell it? Am I spelling it wrong? But the episode with her is not out. Oh, the episode is not out, so yeah. you can't yeah. find it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, okay, got when it. When is September, maybe? Okay. Yep. We'll have to come back. Cool. Okay. Should we go to the little big? Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys are gonna. Yeah. Are right, you guys are gonna go hang out with little big now, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank well, you. have fun, guys. Thank you so much for. Uh, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having us. Um, yes, this was did. a wonderful experience. I'm very excited so to, much. very excited to show the uh, the podcast and every, with everybody, share it yep. with everybody. Yep. Um, and also we learned a lot about Russian culture today, <laughs> Russian music, uh, and did some cultural exchange. That was wonderful. We've learned a lot about Andrew Tate. Learned some. That we've yep. Learned a little too much about Andrew Tate. <laughs> too much. <laughs> He's a horrible person. <laughs> you guys didn't even get to see it. Like I, I wanted to see what he was going to talk about. You know, I'm. This I'm, is like a torture. It's like it's really difficult to watch. I, I like it. I, I, I'm brain broken. Oh. No, that's great. <laughs> My brain is broken, and. Uh, no, I, I really wish I could, but uh, it's just um yeah, it's really difficult. <laughs> okay. He seems insane. He was like he's. In a bad way. <laughs> All right. Well, once again, thank you for coming on. And can we watch it later? Yeah, I'm going to watch it after they leave. <laughs> I'm just, uh, you know. Okay. The thank you, guys. Amazing. Bye. Oh, you, the food was good? Th shouts out. Yeah. Shouts out to Chipotle. Um, oh, yeah. You guys want the toys? Here, I'll give you I'll give you guys the womanizers one Yay. second. Here, you speak. So yeah, dude. This is this is how it is. You you come here. You come to the hot side broadcast. Like, I got you. Uh, hold on one second. Let me see if I still have them. I think I do. Upstairs somewhere. One second. Here, you talk to the camera. You keep him entertained. While I go grab him. <laughs> do you want to speak uh, in Russia with us? Maybe somebody else from Russia to and no Russian language. Come on. Yes. Just Dada, da, 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 da. da, da. <laughs> What you know in Russian? Huh? Vodka, da da. Imagine how someone comes back and they're just naked here. Suka blat, suka blat. Sabaka. Maybe you know some question for us. Да, какой-нибудь какой-то последний вопрос, на котором мы сегодня закончим. Есть. Ответь, давайте. Что? So many guys here. Oh my god. Они просят их поцеловать. Их? Их поцеловать. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Но это было легко. <laughs> Что еще? А, ну да, подписывайтесь на OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. Подписывайтесь на наш инстаграм, follow us Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and YouTube channel. Yeah. And fans show. Like I said, don't show it on camera because okay. it, it is not allowed, but... Thank you. 
Thank you. That's so no problem. Much. All right, guys. Uh, where where can people find you? Uh, well, uh, Eva Elfie on on Twitter, which is an NSFW Twitter account, uh, and Nadia on on Twitter is Pussy Riot with multiple R's. Yep. Okay. No one snitch. What? Um, but yeah, they're all over. They're all over the internet. Thank you so much for coming, Thank guys. Thank you so much. It was fun. Wow, you're See, cleaning up after yeah, your, the mess you made. This is this is new. <laughs> Last time she was here, she just spilled wine everywhere. Hassan, it's what? easy. What? It's Hassan, it's easy. Hassan, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to take some of this stuff out of here as well.